Hello. Hello, hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Good time zone, goom goom. Meg, congrats on forced. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for the quiet hello. Please be sure to stay hydrated. And I hope work isn't too bad today. What are you doing? What? My God, Saki, Saki decided to say, Mrr. to say hello. What? Why are you just looking at me? Oh my gosh, she's so stinky. She's just looking at me. Lumi, hello. Thank you for your daily fish and daily taxes. I hope you're doing well. Esty, hello. Congrats on early. Thank you for your daily fish. I hope you're doing well. Lumi, congrats on early. Soju, good morning. Congrats on early. I hope you're doing well. Gotta do my things today and be a productive human, so I can't stay, but I hope you have a fun stream and enjoy the game. Oh, thank you, SD. Yes, everyone stay hydrated and take your meds. Good reminder. I hope that your productive human things go well. Hi, Maves. I hope you're doing well. Congrats on early. And thank you for your daily fish. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Um, Some of Saki's birthday presents got here today. They literally like got ordered yesterday and they're here today. So kudos, excuse me, kudos to Throne for getting stuff shipped like super fast. Um, but her little, her water, um, her little new water dish got here. Um, the one that's like a flower on top and it's kind of like a faucet type style thing. Um, that got here and then the wall climby city lay down step thingies <laughs> got here. So the only thing that is still on its way is the big cat tower. So thank you all again for contributing to Saki Porte Poisons. She's going to, I know she's gonna love the, I don't know how she's gonna feel about the water thing. I'm pretty sure she's gonna like it because she likes to drink out of the faucet. So I'm assuming she'll like it. You miss sending Saki? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Is not necessary ever or needed ever, but there are still some things on my throne for her in the Saki collection if others would like to take a peek. It's never necessary ever, but she does still have, there's like a, a set of collars and some treats on there. I'll have to add more stuff because I didn't expect um the things i put on there to all be bought but the lovely wonderful kind community members got her things i was very i was very uh surprised it was very kind also i finally had a little bit of extra like spoonage to work on moving all of my commands over to mix it up there are only a handful left. Um, the only the only ones left like on Nightbot are ones that I have to figure out the mix it up equivalent like identifiers. So like the quote, add quote, delete quote is still on Nightbot and then a couple others that I just didn't look for what the identifiers are yet. But most of them are on mix it up now. So I don't have to keep giving Nightbot a sub. <laughs> oh my god, Saki, hello. Are you good? She says zoom. <gasps> zoom! You're trying to switch over to it's um it is a bit of a learning curve, the mix it up, so definitely like, you know, take it take it easy. Um but I finally had some extra spoons to move over the majority of them 
And I also moved the timers over to there as well. So there's almost nothing left on Nightbot. Not that there's anything wrong with using Nightbot. Um, I just don't want to have to keep giving Nightbot a sub in order for it to use my emotes. And with Mix It Up, I can send messages as me. So I don't have to pay a sub for it. Which is a very, a very good uh, incentive. <laughs> And thank you, Meg. Thank you. You're so sweet. Please. I love you so much. I might make it to where it doesn't show my messages in this chat thing, though, because I feel like that's going to be a lot. Let me see if I can. I forget how to do that. Well, I have to do that in my chat bot thingy. Hold on. Uh, slime. Hi, Froge. I hope you're doing well. Congrats on early. I hope you're doing okay and taking care of yourself. I know that you haven't been feeling the best. Command edit. There should be a tick to have it send as bot name. <gasps> send as bot name. Send as bot name. I'll have to look into that when I have more brain again. But thank you, Froge. Please, please rest your head if it's hurty. Please, 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 please. Rest to the noggin. Saki keeps trying to get in the box that her stuff came in. If you get stuck in there, it's your own fault. And I will not feel sorry for you. If you don't figure it out, I can send screenshots later. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Yes. Eat some food and then rest. Good, good, good. Proud of you for taking care of yourself. I appreciate you, please. Um. If y'all aren't following Froge, please follow the lovely, lovely Froge. They have an incredible voice and such a cute model and very lovely art and are just absolute joy to be around so go and follow the froge hi manon i hope you're doing well i'm excited for botany manor too <laughs> what if i cry right now <laughs> I'll cry with you. <laughs> if you cry, I cry. <laughs> no cry, no cry. You'll hurt your head more if you cry, so no cry. Yes, we are playing Botany Manor today. I'm going to go ahead and do the command so I can pin it. It'll let me- oh my god, it let me pin. Holy shit. <laughs> 32 ounces of water, let's go. Amazing, incredible. Uh, we are playing Botany Mana today. I was very kindly gifted a key from the devs to uh, 
try it out and play it with all of you. Um, we played the demo during the Wholesome Games Direct last year, um, and I really liked the demo, so I'm excited to try out the full game. We are going to be playing as a retired botanist and exploring the house and the gardens and learning things about the forgotten flora and doing puzzles and growing plants so it should be a good time very comfy comfy i know look at you being all healthy oh my gosh so proud bruna hi hello sweet bruna i hope you're doing well i miss you all the time i hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself doing well i think okay good i hope you're finding time to rest and take breaks and do things that you like to do because i know that you're endlessly busy so if you're taking care of yourself me trying not to nail glue my fingers together mabes <laughs> mabes what you doing, babe? <laughs> Don't glue your fingers together. Please. Hi, Lizzie. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm hanging in there. How are you doing today? You started playing a Pokemon game. Which one? Which one? Which one? Black 2. Oh, I've never played that one. Are you enjoying it? Are you having fun? Who did you pick as your starter? Also, y'all should follow the lovely, lovely Mabes. Um, a Valorant icon. An absolute fucking menace. Lovingly. And the cutest little slime tuber you've ever seen in your life. So, please go follow the lovely Mabes. You got some new press-ons to make life easier, but it's also stressful. Oh, <laughs> I bet they're beautiful. Oh, you picked Oshawott! Oh, I love Oshawott. Oshawott's so cute. I tend to always go for, like, the water-type starters when I play. Um, with the few exceptions. With a few exceptions. One of them being Sprigatito for Violet. I did do uh, Sprigatito. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Water types are best boys. Agreed. Doing good, just chilling. I'm glad you're doing good. I hope that you continue to have a good day and relax and take care of yourself. You mostly go to fire. You know what? I feel like that makes sense. I feel like I knew that. Speaking of water and fire, um, I'm so excited for more Avatar The Last Airbender characters to be in Fortnite. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I got Katara, Zuko, and Toph. I'm gonna lose my mind. Then I thought about it a lot and thought that the water type was better this time comparing all of them. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, I wanna play another Pokemon. I wanna play another Pokemon, actually. I miss playing Pokemon. We are the same. I picked the grass cat. My only ever other starter besides water was Chikorita, but you didn't like her that much. <gasps> Chikorita is so cute. <gasps> Syndra Dotier is. Oh my god, am I saying that right? Syndra Dotier? Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for saying you like it here. We like having you. Please let me know if you'd like um, a specific nickname or any part of your username. Toast just say Syndra. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I will make a note. Syndra. Let's see. Here we go. All right, made a note. My nicknames. I love that I can edit nicknames in OBS. It's so nice. And I could put pro I put pronouns by them too. It's so nice. 
almost always pick the fire Pokemon as your starter. Oh, Froge. That's actually surprising to me. Froge, I feel like you would have picked... I feel like you would have also been a water... Or I guess maybe grass because green. I associate green with you a lot. Picked Torchic on a rerun one time and that was your only fire type. I'm trying to think. Actually, you know what? I want to look at a list of all the starters and see if I've ever picked a fire on like the first playthrough. Green is your favorite color. I so guessed that. All Pokemon starters. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my god. It's funny though, because fire actually scares me, but the fire Pokemon are so cute. No, that's, that's understandable. They are so cute. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna mute, hold on. You ever get some things on the in your throat like <laughs> that sounded bad. You ever get like a bubble stuck in your throat? <clears> hmm, <throat> here we go. Been following you on the burb for a while, finally made it here, but I'll be lurky turkey similar. So oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a lurky turkey and coming on over from the Twitter. I hope that you enjoy your lurks. Have a good good day. Make sure you stay hydrated. So thank you for popping in and saying hi. follow you back. I thought I was already following you. I could have sworn because your name looked familiar. But I rectified it. Don't worry. Is stream being funny? Is stream being funny? Is it? Oh, thank y'all for fishing. Oh, yeah. Reminder, we do have fishing. Got the graphics to match the fish. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad a ref hopefully a refresh fixed it. Okay, I'm looking for um oh I didn't put this as pin for the whole stream, huh? There we go. Oh, I was looking at the starter Pokemon. Okay. So for Gen 1, I picked Squirtle. On my first first pick was Squirtle. Uh, Gen two I picked Totodile. Three I did Mudkip, so water, water, water. Four was Piplup, so water, 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 water. <laughs> um. Black, I did Oshawa also. I've never played Black 2 or White 2, but I've played like the first Black. Pokemon Black. Um, X and Y, I have not played. I have not played Sun and Moon. Or Sword and Shield. Um, Arceus I picked Oshawott again. And then in Violet I picked Sprigatito. So I actually have done all water except for Sprigatito. In Violet. But I think if I, w if I could play... Um, if I could play Sword and Shield, I think I would pick Score Bunny. So that would be like my first time picking a fire. So if I ever did get Sword or Shield, I would pick Score Bunny, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Sun and Moon, I would pick the Seal Litten. So that would be another water. 
and then X and Y. I don't know. I would have to see what their end evolutions look like. Yeah, water types. Let's go. <laughs> Congrats on your catches, everyone. Totodile. Yeah, I love Squirtle and Totodile. I know Totodile is your fave. Mudkip is your best so far. Oh, I love Mudkip. Mudkip's so cute. The Pokemon that's got stronger. Comparing all your Pokemon. You didn't play any of the new ones? <laughs> that's okay, you know. It happens. Oh my god, the trolley sound scared me. Actually, let me see. Because... All of the X and Y, all three of these are really, really cute to me. Let me see what their evolutions look like. Pokemon X and Y starter evolutions. Oh, I think I would have gone with the water type because I don't like the other two. I don't really like their end evolution. So I think I probably would have gone with uh, Brokey. Ah, <gasps> Arapaima! Very nice. Anyway. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my Pokemon starters. Oh, no, Cheryl! Got a rough knife. He threw up four times and had liquid shit in. Oh no. Oh, I hope he improves throughout the day. And no more shitting or or throwing up. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I don't know what that is, but yay. Oh, the the Arapaima? It's like a big it's a big river fish. It's like it's huge actually. In real life. Let's see if I can get a picture of a Arapaima. It's huge. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's one with three guys holding it for comparison. Hold on, I'm gonna switch over here. Like, this fish is huge. I'm not even joking. Hello, can you please show the picture? Thank you. There we go. Look at how fucking big... That's an Arapaima. Him big. <laughs> big fish. <laughs> big fish. I think this is a great picture because it's got three people, like three guys, holding it. A Piraruku? Okay, okay, okay. They're also, oh, actually it's another um, Arapaima breed. So actually you already knew what an Arapaima looked like because this is technically another Arapaima. You only know that one. <laughs> A Piraruku. Then I knew what it was, I just didn't know that I knew. <laughs> I love that so much. That's me all the time. I don't know what I know, but I know it, you know? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, a pir uh, Piraruku. It's just another type of Arapaima. It's one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Which, obviously, you can see the three guys holding that one. Nearly 
three meters or 10 feet long and a weight of 220 kilograms or about 485 pounds. Can you imagine? That's almost a 500 pound, 10 feet long fish. I can't even imagine like seeing that in the real life, but I want to really bad actually. I think the largest marine animal I've seen in real life is probably a beluga whale I've seen at an aquarium. I love belugas. Belugas are so cute with their big heads. I want to see more whales like in the wilderness. I want to go whale watching so bad. Anyway, thank you for coming to my fish talk. <laughs> I'm going to move y'all over to the other monitor so we can open up Botany Manor. Love fish talk. Thank you. I'm going to start my own um, TikTok format. And it's just going to be fish talk. I'm sure fish talk already exists, actually. But it's not going to be like my fish talk, you know. Now I know things I didn't know I knew. I'm so glad. You're so welcome. <laughs> We're listening to you talk about fish all day. <gasps> Please. That's so sweet, actually. An arowana. Congrats on your arowana. Can I please? Oh my god, please. I can never make things sit the same way twice on the second monitor, I swear. I come here for the fish. I'm glad. Thank you for coming here for the fish. That's like the whole point, you know? Arowana. Hold on, let me... Powers Le Musac. I clicked and it automatically started. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my God. 1890 Botany Manor Somerset. Okay. 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 Medium, 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 low. That's good. Camera. Sure. Accessibility. Oh, wait, I turned my toggles on. I like toggles. Motion sickness. I like that they have motion sickness settings. That's nice. 
You can adjust the smoothing sensitivity and field of view if you get motion sick. Audio. English. Nice. Hi, Tooth. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your daily fish and daily taxes. Yeah, that's a bit better. <gasps> Look at these little shrooms! I can't jump. Well, I can sprint though. These little shrooms, they're so cute. <gasps> and the cacti, oh my god. So cute. Can I get rid of- isn't there an option to get rid of this, like, uh, foggy looking stiff soft glow around bright areas, higher quality fog rendering? Oh, that just- it literally just makes it more. Okay, here we go. People don't jump in the 1800s. Oh, that's right. How silly of me. People weren't jumping in the 1800s. How dare I? <laughs> Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated, though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today, Bennett. Oh, there's a text overlay. That's so nice, actually, for accessibility purposes. Definitely. <gasps> Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset. Ooh. Open my parcel. <gasps> Forgotten Flora uh, Herbarium by Arabella Green. D. He's nuts. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> this game, this game is, um, we are playing as a retired botanist and we are going around the like garden and the house to take care of our plants. And, um, I guess we're working on like trying to figure out the ideal like habitats and temperatures and stuff for a bunch of like forgotten flowers and plants and stuff. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential author. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Forgotten Flora, researched and compiled by Arabella Green. Mayflower Publishing House, 1890. Wow. Maps of Chapter 1, A Fresh Start. Chapter 2, Survivors, Survivors of Adversity. Chapter 3, Peculiar Petals. Chapter 4, Botanical Allies. Chapter 5, Climbing Up. Oh, I like that it's like in book format. Okay, so for our map, we have the grounds, a ground floor, first floor, second floor, and then we have five chapters. Okay, well, all right. I 
I like this little pond. Or not, it's not a pond. This little water feature. Look at the lily pads. They're so cute. Wild flowers. Windmill wart, volcanic flower, checkered lily, meadow flower, sword lily, woodland flower, daffodil, grassland flower. And then it shows the ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean flowers. In Spain, Portugal, France, Greece, Sicily, and Morocco. I love that you stimmy in Scottish. <laughs> what? No. Not it. Not me. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. Alright. A windmill wart. Anemone februa. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. See packet locations. Okay, so we need to find three clues. I played the demo for this last year, but I really genuinely don't remember a lot. I do remember like having to look for clues and figure out the right temperatures and stuff. The plants can affect the world. Yeah. Yeah, so once we grow this one, all of this like smoggy fogginess will dissipate. At least I'm pretty sure that's what happened in the demo. <laughs> Alright, I found my seed. Hi Chris and Kylo, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for your daily fish. Potting instructions. Place pot on saucer. Add soil to pot. Plant a seed. Water the seed. Plant on saucer. Oh, clues. Oh my god. It's a boat. To Lady Arabelle Green, Botany Manor, Somerset, England. Dearest Arabella, on my hike, I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Okay, clue Sicily. Some locals told me the flower bud has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. Wish I could do a, an English accent, but I really cannot. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Yeah, you know what? That's valid. Oh, look at all the different pots. Seed inventory. Okay. A compost bin. All right. Oh, we scoop in our soil. Into the into the pot. Wait, I don't have a clue? Oh, add clue. Oh, here you go. I have to f literally go in and add it myself, I see. Okay, so Sicily, what, what was this kind? Volcanic. Sicily volcanic, whoa. 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, we found all of our clues. Alright, temperature. So it's at 20. We need it to go to 60. There we go. Alright, I need my seed in the planter. Water it. Okay. Oh, open heat vent. Nice, nice. Mm. 
Okay. Do I need to water again? 60. No? Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize that there was a saucer in front of this heat vent. There we go. <gasps> it's growing. Wow, it's so pretty. <gasps> and it's turning because it's a windmill wart. You had to place it at the heat. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did have to place it at the heat. I didn't see the saucer. It's so pretty. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. I like learning. Oh, look, we can see. I like learning about plants. Plants are so cool. It actually worked. It did. It's so pretty. And now it's, yeah, now it's so pretty in here and not like hurting my eyeballs because of the smog. I like the purple. Pretty. Oh, and now we can see in here too. That's a lot of cacti. It was rough. Yeah, it was. But I appreciate that it was like a game mechanic. Um, and it made sense, like, with the, you know, we had to, we had to grow the flower in order for it to dissipate. Uh, so pretty outside. Huh. <gasps> I can sit. I got an achievement for taking a break. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> got an achievement for sitting and taking a break. That's so nice. Yay, self-care. I know, I need that in real life too. Maybe it would make me actually like take care of myself if I get a little, little achievement sound went off in my head every time I did something for myself. Drawing from nature. Drawing book. Oh, there's a paint, like a half done painting. Cute. I like all the little details. Stick. Oh, I thought this was a real giant shroom. It's just like a art piece or something, I think. The music is so nice. Also, let me know if volume is um, too loud, too quiet, anything like that at any time. Always. I want to make sure. Oh, I like the peaky hole. Can see building. Hi, Esty. Brain fried after 1.5 hours of work, but it was nice. Oh, I am hope that you got a lot done. Please make sure you take a nice break. And the game is good. We just finished the little starter area and grew a pretty little flower. And now I'm just looking around. <gasps> My key! Entrance garden key. 
I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Wow, I left that note. Nice. Ring the bell. A post box. Otsuni Manor. Home of the Green family. Hydrated the meat wagons is such a good sentence, actually. <laughs> Gay house instead of greenhouse. Same thing. If I'm there, it's always a gay house. So pretty. I like that the water looks sparkly. Hype for the gay house. <laughs> Thank you for the hype for the gay house. To be fair, they are the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the Animal Crossing emo. Isn't it so cute? Um, They were... It's free. Let me grab the... It's in my about panels, but I'll grab the link for it. Hold on. Because I'm always about crediting artists. And I can't remember who made that one specifically. Oh, Spiffy. This is the creator who made the Animal Crossing clap emotes. Um, she has like a lot of them for free. The NPCs and then does commissions for like specific villagers, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, let me grab her Twitter too because I know the Twitter had the shop info. Hold on. No, maybe not. Anyway, here's uh, here's her Twitter also, if you would like to see her other emotes. But she's made uh, Kappa, Rossetti, a bunch of different villagers, KK, Slider, Isabel, um, Red, Brewster, Tom Nook. Yeah, they're so cute, and um, the NPC ones are free, and you, you know, I just, obviously, credit is important, but the NPC ones are free, and I didn't have a clap emote yet, so I snagged one of them. I love Pascal, and Pascal fits our uh, fishing marine life, like, brand, so... Yeah, they're super cute. Okay, sorry. Recently saw a tweet about a company that made Twitch screens and stuff and they used AI while trying to hide it. Ugh. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Um, but you do have to be super diligent about like when you're getting stuff for your Twitch stream, like your assets and stuff, and make sure that they did not use AI at all. And a lot of them, you know, it they make it hard to find, so definitely do your research. I hate that the like that's the state that we're in right now is that we have to actively like know what AI looks like 
and do like deep dives into getting anything with art. So stinky. And games too. Always make sure you research your games because um, I've already seen a few games that uh, have definitely used AI. So not a good time. Either AI or like stolen art in general. Not great. Yeah, it is sad. It is sad. Letter from Eleanor. Clover Gardens, April 1889. My dear friend, good luck on your travels. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the, the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others. Whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Aww. A walking stick. Well, I can zoom. Appreciate that Steam has an AI disclosure section on games that use it, but it'll take time to like, track down each one. Yes, I really appreciate that too. Um, and I do hope that, you know, sooner rather than later, they have like everything in there. But I know that a lot of people make it hard to detect and they know, you know, the workarounds and what they're doing. Pretty. The orchard. I don't have the key. I want to go into the orchard. Let me in. Let me in. This is my house. Let me in. That's so rude. It's my house. I'm going to sit on all the benches in case that's an achievement. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I wonder if, like, as we progress through, if um, any of the outdoors will, like, change and there'll be, like, more flowers and stuff. That would be a really cool feature. Oh, these are so pretty. And this. I love this. I fucking love plants. A bench. Wow. This is so nice and relaxing. I love games like this. That It's like there's no pacing or anything. Like you just go how you see fit. There's no rush or anything. They've blocked me off. I can't believe they've done this. More benches. Stare at the other bench. Oh, sit on a seat for one minute or more. See, I'm just farming achievements at this point. And it says how AI was used. So far, there's only one game, one use in games that I'm comfortable with. And it's where you ask questions using a typing box. And the AI, AI is used to evaluate what you ask. And you use predetermined possible responses and gives the appropriate one. But actual writers still have to write the plot, dialogue, and such. And devs still have to code it. And artists still have to art it. That's the only case I'm moderately okay with. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It really, it's really so unfortunate because AI can be useful and there are good uses for like artificial intelligence out there. And it's really shitty that people are using it as like an excuse to just steal art and steal like work from people in both text and art format. Because it can be, it can be very helpful. It can be a good accessibility tool. Um, it can be good in, like, medical learning and stuff like that. 
but it's just really unfortunate that like the most popular formats are quite literally just plagiarism bots. Yeah, outside of yeah, outside of gaming and art and uh, like writing, used for so many things they should not be including in business management and hiring. Yep, absolutely agree. Wait, I want to sit on this bench with the books and the cactus. Cute. I love the little cat. I love cacti that are like the, the round cacti. They look so cute. Hold on, I shall reply to my partner's text while I sit here and relax. Whoa, shit, okay. All right, what's this way? Oh, it's locked. I can't believe they've done this. Locking me out to my own grounds. Oh, I like that the lighting auto adjusts like that. That's nice. Ooh, this room is so cute. Oh, I like, oh, oh, wait, that one's got koi fish on it. That vase, 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 vase. And that one up there, the pink one, really, really pretty. I can sit, <clears throat> excuse me. Beautiful. This game looks so pretty. It is so pretty. The artists that worked on this game did such an amazing job. It literally looks like you're- if it looks and feels like you're sitting in like watercolor paintings, kind of. I love it. Oh, okay. It's time for a break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. It is time for a break. I have to run our ads. Um, which means it's time for a little stretch break, everyone. Make sure that you stretch if you need to do any other self-care like meds, vitamins, um, using the restroom, hydrating, eating, anything like that. Please be sure to take this opportunity to do so. And this is your reminder. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking through the ads. They help support me. And yeah, I'm just going to keep the game sat here and I will be right back.
All right, welcome back everyone. I hope you all had a nice break. Oh my God, I got an achievement for shaking a locked door. I also love how the achievements look for this game. They're like stained glass images. They're so pretty. Thank you so much for the welcome back. Welcome back as well. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we've got our seeds inventory. Oh. It auto does it. So funny. In the compost bin. <gasps> Look at this duck! Oh! I got an achievement called Inspect a Duck. Quack quack. It's so cute. <laughs> Hell yeah. This game was made for me because I just love... I love inspecting every little thing and like picking up anything it lets me. And checking any like drawers it lets me. Or anything like that. So that's perfect. I'm such an explorer. I like to look at every little thing. Oh. Two, survivors of adversity. Look at this tree. It looks so sick. I bet we fix it. Oh, a beetle. Oh, look at the little beetle. Oh, the family tree. John Green and Ursula Pen Pengilly, Richard Green, Mary Deal, James Pendleton, Anna Williamson, Theodore John Green, Augustus Green, Adelaide Pendleton, Agnes Eliza Pendleton, Henry Goodfellow, William Henry Goodfellow, Thomas Goodfellow, Arthur Hopgood, Elizabeth Ann Green, Arabella Mary Green, Florence Mary Hopgood. Wow. Wait. Which one are we? Arabella. Oh yeah, Arabella Mary Green. That's the character we're playing. Letta, Lady Arabella Green. I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Nice. Very nice, very nice. I don't look at the book. Him is such a him is such a guy. Just a little guy. Must sit in every seat. A train ticket, Great Western Railway, Taunton to London, Paddington, issued for return journey first class, elderly discount applied, 9th July, 1890. Oh, look at the shrooms. Oh, and the seashells. Oh, fish. There's a fish. Let's fucking go. I would teabag, but I can't crouch in this game. Another beetle. The fire is very nice. A feather. Oh, another fish. And some more shroomies and shells. Hell yeah. This bowl of like lemons reminds me of like middle school art class where we have to do life, like a still life um recreation of like a bowl of fruit that's what this reminds me of the kitchen is locked hello 
Won't you let me in, please? Let me in. It's my house. Dartmoor poster. All the year round. Home to breathe. Breathe. I was going to say breathe taking. Breathtaking sights. Hound tour. Wistman's Wood. Becky Falls. I want to go on a train. Logging out for today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Please take care and see you around. Thank you so much for hanging out, SD. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your time zone. Make sure you get lots of good rest. Pyrophiles book. Curiosities of the natural world. Pyrophiles. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire as well. For example, in areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Facts about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically contain tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Interesting. It's locked. I want to go into the painting room. Why can I not? This is fucked up. The back terrace. I also can't go there. I'm not allowed to go anywhere in my own home. <laughs> what do you even own a home for if you can't even go in on any of the doors? It's fucked up. <gasps> well lit photograph. Oh, daffodils. Camera experiment two, 1205. January, February, March, April, May. May 12th, 1890. I'm very pleased with this picture. It looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Dark photograph. Experiment three, 135, 1890. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Oh. Blurry. Oh, this is number one. 510. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks like it looks a little blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. A seed. A fulguria. Ulex fulgurus. I came across the fulgur fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Ooh, it's like a little little shard. It's so ziggy zaggy. Oh my god, a room I can go in. <laughs> a horse. Damn, look at that haunts. That is a nice haunts. Yeehaw. Oh, I like these feathers too. And the shrooms. A pear, a leaf. Oh my god, two doors. Oh, a dining. Oh my god. This dining room is gorgeous. I like all the plates with flowers on them. Such fancies. Oh my god, three doors I can open. Incredible. <gasps> A chair. I know there are fireplaces everywhere. This person is rich, rich, Arabella. Imagine having this, like, I mean, it's a whole manor. You know, the game is Botany Manor, so she just has a whole manor. I want to have a whole manor where all my friends can live with me. But it has to have exceptional Wi-Fi. Folklore book, botanical folk tales. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming-of-age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulguria because these flowers are known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lighting lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered to be the ultimate proof of courage. 
<gasps> a whale shark! You caught a whale shark! My beloved! I fucking love whale sharks so much. Oh my god. That's so exciting. Congrats on the whale shark. That's one of my favorites ever in my whole life. <gasps> or zoo! Hi, Zuzu. I'm so glad that you're feeling a lot better today. I've been worried. I've been worried about you. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. But And I hope that your meeting goes well. And thank you for popping in and saying hi. And also, <laughs> yeah, I I added a, a couple of a couple of new VIPs based on just, you know, mutual vibes. Also, please go and follow the lovely Orzu. They've been sick lately. <laughs> Very sad. But um, plays a lot of Breath of the Wild. Um, has been playing Stardew Valley for the first time. Sometimes plays scary games. Uh, Fortnite. All the good vibes and things. Well, oh, true. She's a lady in England, so someone in her family line was at least a baron. Yeah, she's super rich. <laughs> oh, the allergies. Yeah, I know. Stinky allergies. I hope your meeting goes well. Be sure to rest after if you can. Yeah, this lady's heckin' reach. Sulfur, potassium, magnesium, phosphor, sodium, titanium, zinc, barium. I need my hints. Ooh. Chemical disposal. Oh, chair. I must have a sit. I must pop a squat. Hi, Saki. Pop a squat. The art of painting in oil and fresco. Pretty. Okay. I'm assuming my hints are in this room. Ah. <gasps> Arabella and Elizabeth. Wait, was this our bestie? Who's Elizabeth? Who's Elizabeth and why do we have a picture with them? Were they on the family tree? Oh, wait, where's the family tree? Oh, Elizabeth. 1838. Okay. It's our little sister. Bestie sis. See, I was, you know, I was just wondering. And bless the devs. The devs are very, very nice. Truly. I love this piano. Can I play it? Oh. <gasps> I can play the harpsichord. Love the text overlay for not having to decipher the font choice. Me too. We love accessibility. <gasps> A key! I found the key to the back terrace. Oh, I have clues. Oh, I have clues. I keep forgetting I have to come in and like actually put the clues in myself. Letter from f oh, it's f it's Farmer Charles down by the farm. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I've been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as I think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Oh shit, Farmer Charles is pissed because his cows is having a, a heart attack from the from the fake uh the fake lightning. 
empty flash powder. Highly combustible. Bottle contains 75 grams of flash powder. Oh, typo. Potassium and magnesium, two to one. Okay, two to one potassium magnesium. Oh, these aren't. Oh, so some of them can be wrong. I see. Okay, let me reset then. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, well, the flash powder bottles definitely, and then the pyrophiles, um, the photographs. The folklore book. Oh my gosh, some spectacles! Shit. Wait, Soju, what was that face for? What was the dashy dash face for? What happened? Ah, uh, flash lamp manual. Your new lumen. Photographic flash lamp instructions. Fill the, con the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flash lamp. Witness a bright flash. Alrighty. Oh my god, so many places to sit. Holy shit. Oh, the farmer. Yeah. Friggin' farmer. We've got another fireplace. A chandelier. Hi, baby. Come on, if you want up here, get up here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, if you want up, get up. Come on. Come on. There you go. Hi, baby. Oh, you saying hi to chat? Daki says hello. She bumped a mic. That's her hello. Hi, baby. How are you doing? What you doing, pretty girl? <gasps> Bruna says hi, and so do Soju. Yeah, do you say hello to you? Aw. Thank you. They, yes, thank you for bumping everything out of the way for your own self. <laughs> Are you gonna sit there? Aw, you're so cute. You're gonna sit there by me? Your winter coat is still shed in there. Oh, you coming back? Hi. You want any more pets? And get more fur off of you? What are you doing? Are you shitting me right now? Are you shitting me? Is that where you're gonna sit? Okay, you moved. I was gonna take a picture of you because that was really funny. She literally... So I have like my keyboard... And there's like a gap between my keyboard and my mouse, right? Because, you know, my keyboard I use with my left hand and my mouse I use with my right hand. There's like a gap. She literally plopped her ass down in the middle of, like, in that gap between the keyboard and the mouse. But she moved too fast for me to take a picture. She was just like, she was going to loaf there. And then she thought, nah, actually, I'm not going to. Now she jumped down. <laughs> what a goof. What are you doing down there? She wants so much attention right now. Her 
Right now I have to sit on the couch. Ooh, I like the couch the most, I think. View wise. All right, I've popped my squats. A glass plate for picture taken. Okay, so we have to come and take a picture of the plant. I feel like I'm missing a clue. I sat there. I sat there. Oh, what was it? Was it two to... Oh. oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. There's a two to one. Hold on. Wait, can I use the magnifying glass? No. Okay, it was a two to one potassium and magnesium. So two potassium, one magnesium. Two potassium, one magnesium. Two to the one to the one to the I like good pussy. <laughs> it's okay, you can say pussy here. It's an 18 plus channel. You can say it. Fill the container. Okay, I have to f grab the. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. Get more ass than a toilet seat. <laughs> uh. Do I know this song? Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe get more ass than a toilet seat. I I feel like I need to hear it to know. I feel like I probably know it. Oh, there's a second page. You DM'd- oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that song. Nope, I know that song. Hmm. Oh, I didn't go upstairs. Oh, there's a pl there's a plate there. Oh, maybe the pyrophiles. This I don't feel like the pyrophiles isn't the right one either. These all are, but I'm missing one. It might be upstairs because I forgot that I didn't look upstairs. Chair. <laughs> the Gengar Dumpy. I love the Gengar Dumpy. I love 
all the paintings. Huh? The library hall has a fucking code? Oh my god, a blue fish! Blue fish. Oh, I definitely can't go in this door. Blocked by tree. Oh shit, you probably can't read it, huh? I wish it did it like a chat thing too. Hold on, I'll do it again. Let the let it go through and then I'll we'll do leaderboard again. The whale shark. I love whale sharks. Bruna! 39 months! Oh yeah, you can't queue leaderboard again because it's it, it takes too much time. So we'll look at it here. Bruna, thank you for 39 months. What the heck? Alright, so leaderboard we have River, Soju, Harls in the top three. And then Quince, Astral, Darmo... Imparting, Jinx, Bruna, Selkrin, Peachy, Froge, Reyna, Ray, Spin, Fernie, Key, Pom Pom Pastel, Eggs, and Moon. A river shakes fish hands out. <laughs> All right, Bruna, you get a free a free catch for subscribing. Thank you so much for 39 months. That is a wild amount of months. Are you kidding me? I appreciate you so much. I cannot believe you've been able to stand me for so long. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stick this back here. Yeah, that's years. Bruna's been here for years. That's wild. For a great many years. Alright, I fixed it, I think. And I am so appreciative. I love the Bruna. Okay. Am I missing a oh hello? It's Arabella's parents. Nyum. Okay, I missed something. Oh, I need to go and get the seed. Alright, soil. Bulgaria. My mixture. I'm 
I'm missing a clue though. Haven't filled in all the right clues. Oh, there we go. It was a letter from the farmer. All right, we're gonna take the picture. Did it not work? It didn't work. <gasps> I didn't water it! <laughs> uh oh, I didn't water my plant. Thank you, Soju. I did not water my plant. How can a plant grow if you don't water? Pop. Now I have to go make another mixture. Oopsies! <laughs> Tee hee! <laughs> Good catch. My god, couldn't hit the button. I'll put that back where I found it. All right, try this again. Oh, <gasps> wow, it grew. It's so pretty. The fulguria only grows during thunderstorms, where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Wow. It's so pretty. Am I meant to take it somewhere? I'm going to take it. I'm taking it with me. It's so pretty. There is a spot for a plant here. The tree does not care about the plant. Okay, so I got the key for back here. The back terrace. Those two, those two plants that we just grew, that was the demo. So now it's stuff that I've never done. Wow, it's so pretty. Is this an orange tree? Is that oranges? Are these oranges? Orange. Locked from the other side. I can't believe this. Everything's locked. Oh, it's pretty. Hey, there's the cows. I think those are the farmer's cows he was talking about. It looks like those are supposed to be cows anyway. They're very teeny tiny from here, so I can't really tell. Nice downspout. I can't sit in these chairs. That's fucked up. <gasps> oh, but I can sit. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, like a sandwich. A sandwich. Oh, <gasps> it's the koi fish. Oh, look at the fish. I want this vase with a fish. A book. Flowering Plants of Great Britain by Anne Pratt. Sit. Ooh, this is a nice view. This one's this one's nice. I like this view. I'll take a picture of this one. P 
pretty. It's all pretty. Who am I kidding? I can't believe I forgot to water that plant. <laughs> uh, ADHD brain. Seed. An ash plume. Lilium vive. Vi vivicum, vi vivicum, vivic, vivic, vivific, vivificum, <laughs> cum, lilium, vivificum. This might be a tough case to crack. Oh, it looks like it has a little eyeball, a little red eyeball on top. Lilium, vivificum, vivificum, vivificum. Seed log. I actually like this font. This font is easy to read for me. Uh, seed log. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year in the location I found them at. Cow parsley, black down hills, poppy, cheddar gorge. Ooh, a cheddar gorge. I love cheese. I'm actually not a fan of cheddar cheese, though. But I love cheese. Buttercups, uh, stiart marshes, ash plume, wistman's wood, wood anemone. Ooh, an anemone. Holford comb, wild thyme, cool bone wood, foxglove, Ford Abbey. Formal gardens. It's locked. <gasps> A picnic spot. Mac and cheese is usually cheddar. I prefer milder cheddars. I can't stand. Yeah, I can't stand. I don't like hard cheeses. I don't like hard cheeses. I don't mind like cheddar in mac and cheese. That's fine. I like that. I love mac and cheese. Um, but yeah, milder cheddars. I definitely prefer as well. I don't like the hard, sharp. I don't like sharp cheeses. Like sharp, hard cheeses. I don't like. I like them soft. Letter from Grace, Rosewood House, 5th of May, 1890. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They're the latest trend in garden decorations. All of my neighbors have sent, all of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. Parma's one of the few hard ones. Yes, keep grinning. I didn't say stop over my pasta. Keep going. <laughs> I would like a little pasta with my cheese. Thank you. Cheese with a side of pasta. Thanks so much. Let's go where else? Sit. Uh, sit and hydrate. Locked. Everything is locked. Ooh, this is pretty. The water. I want to go fish in it. A key. I got a key to the kitchen. I got a key to the kitchen. Hazel Patterson, kitchen notes. Thursday. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She's so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list. Flour, eggs, milk, leeks, potatoes, carrots. Mmm, potatoes. Oh, look, an onion and potatoes and a carrot. All right.
I remembered to water it this time. Well, it didn't do anything. Oh yeah, pyre files. Seed log. Um, okay, so this one it said... Is there like a... Can I look at the thing? Like read it again? Without having to go back to it? I don't know. Alright, I'm taking you with me. We unlocked... I got a key for the kitchen. Painting room. Kitchen. Is there a place for me to put kindling for my plant? Oh, here's the broken mortar. Damn. Uh, Dartmoor Lecture, Society of Historians, Southwest Group. Monthly lecture open to all society members. The history of Dartmoor given by our resident natural history professor. The professor will present how the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods, how early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pastures using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Hazel's Priceless Recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe perfect to warm these cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnuts. They are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. <gasps> I, I wonder if that's what you had to do with the seed. I take the seed. Kindling. Old letter, University College London, 1853. Dear lady, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Ugh. Gross, the misogyny. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby, tending to your garden and collecting flowers in the appropriate domestic space where it may be appreciated. Ew! Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John Altringham. Where is he and when can I fight him? Because what in the sexist, misogynistic sh bullshit? <laughs> Hi, Reyna. That is literally exactly how I feel. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Fucked up. Damn. <laughs> Let's go. My deductive reasoning. Alright, anything? Oh, yeah, here we go. Can't believe I came into sexism. I know. What the fuck? Religious blessing. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not a religious person. 
Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and respite. Blessed is each room with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction. For this, friends, is the key. Gifted by Nicholas Owen. Meh. Religion after misogyny. I mean, okay, to be fair, this is like the 1800s, okay? We have to remember that this game is taking place in like 1890 or something like that. Not that it ever makes it okay, but like, you know, time-wise, it makes sense why there's so much of, uh, you know, sexism and misogyny and, and shit. I would have been burned at the stake so quick. Me too. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel like we all would have been burned at the stake. To be quite honest. The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman's wood. Love a good wood... Oh! Duck! The porcelain duck! Oh my god, so fucking cute! Are you kidding me? I love this porcelain duck. To a romantic card to someone special? Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Oh my god. Do we need fantasy misogyny and fantasy game where flowers bloom from lightning and also open and grow from being roasted? You know, the answer is no, for sure. But I guess if it's the storyline. Birch log, cherry log, maple log, oak log. I like cherry logs. More carrots. Home smoking and curing. Use the home smokery. The type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance. Though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of trees produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. Okay, dokie. Oh, hell yeah! Fire! Smoked food. Dang, we got some sausages. Y'all want some sausage links? Okay, I need to go back to... the starter room area. Oh, I didn't look in here. The pat tree. Oh my god, look at all the bundt cake molds. Whoa! That's so many ounces of things. <gasps> A mysterious symbol? What is for? I can't do anything with it right now. Cherry and cedar are very good for smoking. Mm. All right, I need to go back here. Ah, stones. Nope. Nope. This way. Nope.
Okay. Did we not have more info in here? I feel like it was just the temps. Does it say? The ash plume. I guess not. You miss your dad's smoked salmon? Oh, salmon. That does sound very tasty. Do we need it? No. Does it add to the lore of our 55-year-old spinster botanist who commissioned a family tree, to, family tree to show the women's maiden names contrary to standard tree making of the time who takes no shit of men? I mean, yeah, we love her for that. I did love the family tree and the fact that she uh, had them keep the maiden names and not the married names. That's some good shit. Did I... Okay, the ash plume. Okay, that was about the how to crack it open. Ash plume, Wistman's wood. Wistman's wood, Wistman's wood, Wistman's wood. Wistman's wood. I thought one of these things said something about Wistman's wood. Something did that I read. I must investigate. Wistman's wood. <gasps> River, hi! Thank you for quiet, hello! I hope you're doing well today. Make sure you get lots of good rest. I hope you had some yummy food and good drinkies. Happy almost Eid. Hmm. Wistman's wood. Where did I read the Wistman's wood thing at? somewhere I don't know maybe there's not any clues in like the other areas because that's about the specific flower that's grown there Wistman's wood One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ounce. Oh, am I supposed to be balanced? Wait, is this balancing? Hold on. Oh. Oh, 
this must be I bet this is open to open the like secret thing. Okay, hold on. Can I put one in there? No. Hmm. Why does it look like it's covered in cobwebs? That's so funny. Not the throwing fish at river, please. Hmm. I'll come back to this. Oh, okay. Covered in moss. Ancient oaks. Oak, 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 oak. That's where I read Wistman's Wood. Oak. Ancient oak. How many do I need? I assume more than one. Holy shit. It's fucking going. Oh, wait. Was it only one that I needed? It is. I ran away. I thought I needed more than one. Ooh, it's so pretty. I didn't get all the clues though. Or were these all the clues? Oh, they were all the clues. I went back for another log and I missed you growing. I'm so sorry. Oh, a gatehouse delivery. Hell yeah. I'm bringing my new plant. I don't know where I want to put my plants. Music's getting vibey. Is she there? Gatehouse livery. Let's go. Dear Lady Green, we are pleased to deliver a new key for your orchard gate. We hope you're enjoying the gate. Don't hesitate to visit us again should you need further metal, metal work or decoration for the manor. John Babbage. Thank you kindly. I'm gonna grab my other plant. I want them all inside with me. My windmill what? My beautiful plants. He he he. All right, the orchard. Oh wait, I don't remember where the orchard was, but I think where was the orchard door? Oh, no, I can't get out that way. It's about time for an ad break. Oh wait, was this the orchard door? Yeah. <gasps> Peculiar petals. 
two new plants added. Cool. Wow, I love, I love this, it's so pretty. All right, let me find it, let me find a chair. There's gotta be a spot for me to sit. Wow, look at all the apples. Oh, look at this pig toy. And balls, do we have a pet? Pop in a squat. All right. Um, I'm going to take a break and run our ads and do a stretch and all that good stuff. So please take this as your reminder to please do self-care if you need to. If you need to hydrate, rest, any of that good stuff. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I appreciate you very, very much.
Welcome back from break, everyone. Your hands were sticky with dates. Oh, <laughs> I hope the preparation stuff is going well, River. Okay, note to Florence from the desk of Arabella Green. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved Piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. Though I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. Aw, that's so cute. Nursery rhyme. A treasury of nursery rhymes. The wolf glove. High on the mountain, top so steep, grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit, cheeks aglow. With every step they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl, clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Beautiful. Oh, I haven't put my seed yet, right? It's going well. The usual upsetty spaghetti that Ramadan is almost over, but Eid is tomorrow. Yes, happy early Eid. I hope that it is a very lovely day filled with good food. And I hope you get lots of money. <laughs> and have a wonderful time. Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. 118 grams, 112, 97, oh, 97 on the flower one, 167, 90, 45, 75, 62. Okay. Oh, seed. Pixie tears. Oxalis phasma. This flower is closely associated with orchards. I wonder why. It looks like a bean. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. I may have some advice for you. Have you tried making sure there is fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime, and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Tucker Esquire. Don't worry, I figured it out. I do not need your help any longer. Pixie Tears. Oh, it's a white sprout. Cute. Oh, the sprout kind of died on me a little bit. Okay, I leave it there. Microscope slide. Oh, okay. Red campion. Fox glove. Oh, there's so many. Prim Primrose Everdeen. <laughs> Since we established almost everyone is older than me, money please. Be nice to the younger ones here. Me, River, if I had the means, I would send you so much money right now. Do you feel bad I won't get to spoil my horde of children back home? Do I care that some of them are in a university and technically aged out of getting Eid money? No. Because how is a 12-year-old getting money, but a 19-year-old isn't? The 19-year-old probably needs it more. That is so true. The 19-year-old university goers probably need it way more. Hyacinth. Oh, I love hyacinths. Spring dance shrub. 
Pixie tears. Oh, here's the my one that I'm growing right now. Pixie tears. Bluebell. Cradle fern. Wish I could put them back in the box. Tincture of iodine. Perfect for for preparing microscope slides. Chloroplasts. Oh, I feel like I'm in biology. <laughs> In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplasts, chloroplasts, small organelles inside the cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over, over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivate, cult, cultivating these particular plants. Okay. So I need sugar for the plant. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god, it's pretty here. The heritage orchard and preservation of endangered apple varieties. It. Oh, you caught a whale shark! My beloved whale sharks. Let's go. <gasps> Wait, this area is so nice and cute. I want to live here. Cider apples. Nobby Russet, Dabinet, Foxwhelp, Brown Snout, Pitmaston Pine, Cat's Head, Kingston Black, Green Ups, Lord Peckover, Seymour's Delight, Bitter Green Streak, Merlin's Mist. Those look cool. Oh, look at them. Apples. Use press. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We've got one of each of them, it looks like. Ah, okay, we're gonna press them for the sugar and add it to the plant, got it, okay. Cider making apple blending. Sugar, tannins, and acid values given per single apple. So the one with the most, which is... The Nobby Russet is probably the one that we want. But... Does it need to be high... Hmm. Okay, so we need to, the microscope slides, apple blending. Maybe not apple blending. There we go. All right, found all of the clues. So the knobby russet. Oh, look at all the apples. Is this one? Go get my plant. Juicy. Uh-oh. Oh, was oh, that right? Is that wrong? I feel like that one might have been wrong. Wait, did it say... Well, my acid level needed to be...
plants, absorbing energy by absorbing sugar through the roots. Extra ninety seven grams nutrition. I didn't even go this way. <gasps> A seat. We must sit. Lady Arabella, I've received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legend says the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you, too, to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willie the Builder. <gasps> we have a ghost? Wait, I want to meet the ghost. Oh, I hear the sounds. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, it's pretty tiny. I mean, it's pretty tall. It's very tall, but it is quite small. The an anemometer is broken. Oh, I'm going up. Oh shit, okay. Going up. I'm going up to see if there's a ghost. Oh. Just kidding. Oh, I hit the wrong side. My bad. Oh, wait. Let me go back down. I didn't open the windows on the first floor. Gotta open the windows. Must open the windows. I think the poltergeist that they think is in here is just the freaking wind. Oh, wait, there's a plant that goes here. Go to the top of the tower achievement. Huh, I have to bring a plant back here. I'm assuming whatever plant needs like a lot of fucking wind. Yeah, it's just the it's the wind that I think is freaking people out. <laughs> Okay, another spot for tower wind. Oh, okay. Wind speed of 35 on third floor, 50 on second floor, 45 on fourth, 20 on first, 40 on fourth, fourth, 
25th on 5th. Somehow my an an anemometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Now nah, I'm sure it's fine. Alpine ex Exploration. The Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration, second edition, issued by the Alpine Club. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. Wind speed and pressure in the Alps by location. Okay, this must be the other the other plant we're gonna get the seed for. A seed! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. We must sit. Alright. Oh, I can go in here. Oh yeah, there's the other seed. Okay, I'm gonna I'll wait to do this because I'm still working on the other seed. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna test the apples to see which one is which. Which one is the right apple? Alright, so I tried the knobbly one and I feel like it didn't work. Let's try this one. That was Kingston Black. Oh, medium and high. Maybe we need the cat's head. That one's like medium, medium. No. Can I just keep putting apples on it? Drowning it in apple juice. What about the the blue one? <laughs> Smell the blue one. Let's take you back to here and see. I can't take anything out of the compost bin. Or do anything else over here. And there's not a spot for you here. Wait, I didn't read the, did I read this? History of England. Priest holes, oh, <laughs> priest holes. An illustrated history of England for scholars advanced classes in the discerning reader by A and E Strickland. Priest holes, back in the middle ages during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location because of this. It is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England today, to this day. That is very interesting. Holes. Priest holes. The clues again? Oh, I'll look at the clues in a second. Hold on. 
Letters from letter from historian Lady Arabella. Thank you for inviting me to Botany Ban- Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see a medieval matter- manor. I can't fucking read. Uh, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house, though I am convinced it exists and we will find it one day. It won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanics to be opened. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. We're going to have to find a priest hole. That's kind of cool. Mystery priest hole. Side eye, big side eyeing. Potting soil. Botany Manor, that's the setting of our book for book club, true? I really wish I felt like reading. Because I really need to finish that book. <laughs> okay, well the only other thing I need to do with this is to figure out this apple, I guess, so. Let's see. I tr I try all four of these. I tried. I didn't try the red one. I don't think. It's a little fat, little tiny guy. Damn. Did I try all these ones? Uh oh, I didn't keep track of what ones I tried and which ones I didn't. Maybe if I put them all in. Do you think if I put every single one of the apples in at the same time, that would work? <laughs> hmm. I know that's what I was thinking. Can we crush all of them at the same time? Maybe that's it. Well, let me crush them all. I'm gonna try it. I wonder if, even if it doesn't work, I wonder if it's like an achievement to crush all of the apples. If I was a game dev, I would make that an achievement. It's surely a lot of apples. Okay. I think those are all the apples that I can grab. All right, let's tr let's try it. Damn, it didn't work. <laughs> it wasn't even an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> no chivo. Damn. Okay. Sugar, tannins, acid. Pot notes, cider apples, apple blending, microscope slide chloroplast. Are you sure there's not some other step I need to do for you? Because the soil tip thing was part of its clue. Add 
Extra nutrition. 97 grams. How do I weigh it? There's the weight in the kitchen. Let me go. I'm going. Yeah, the scale I was messing with. I'm gonna go look. Oh, I can't. I can't put a play on it. I cannot. Put oh, yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> it's not on it. I can't put it on. Damn. Weird. I don't know what this is for. This is some different puzzle. Right, this is just where the smoker's at. Oh. Sorry, it has to be, I just didn't put the right apples on there. Because I think the only other place I can put the... Oh, wait. I can restart it. Maybe I fucked it up because I put all the fucking apple juices on it. <laughs> okay. Perfect for microscopes. Oh, what's this? Orchard mosaic. Pretty. Is this where the priest hole is? Is it behind this? Oh, no, I guess not. Cause oh, there's a sheep. <laughs> there's a sheep through my window. Oh, he's looking at me. Hello, little guy. You wanna come here? Okay. Well, try it again. Oh, 97 grams. Okay, the equivalent of 97 with these apples, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like that it needs to weigh the right grams. So I need 97 for the pot that it's in. So 97, let's see, 40 plus 35. 40, 50, 67, 77, 87. Okay, so a uh, knobby russet cat's head Merlin's mist. I'll try that. I did it! Wow, of course it had to be math. <gasps> the butterflies! Oh my god, look at all the butterflies!
so pretty. The pixie tears no longer contains chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the pixie tears obtain sugar through their roots, which it commonly finds in the apples from orchards. That makes sense. Oh, so pretty. Wow. Oh, this is a really pretty plant. Oh, now there are butterflies everywhere. Oh, look at them all. All right, I'm bringing my plant with my other plants inside. And of course I had to weigh the grams. I didn't even think about the math. I should have. Okay, now I can go do that other plant back there. Oh, broken stairs. Cannot go down. A painting room key! Let's fucking go. Uh, Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I have already written to the builder in the hope he wants to sort it out. Though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way to the bottom level. Bennett. Next abric, you're gonna make it- Oh, a tuna sandwich. Oh, that sounds so good. I wanna make some tuna salad, actually. Arabella Green from Natty Golding. Dear dearest Arabella, we made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday, we were lost on a hike until we suddenly heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound, and soon enough, we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend always, Natty. Alright, we go back to the painting room. Which is very conveniently right here. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Botanical painting. Oh, look at all the paintings. So pretty. Oh, hello. Good night, Tooth. Thank you for hanging out as always. I appreciate you. Be sure to get good sleep. Good rest, sweet dreams. Um, next ad break is in like 25 minutes, but if you get hungry before then, please go eat. My dearest Arabella, in Gardens Fair, you grace the scene, a flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm so pure and white. Your hands like petals soft and fine, in tender touch a love divine. And in your eyes a brilliance glows, as daisies fair in spring's repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut you'd be, the trophy of my home with glee. <gasps> wow, we got a poem written for us. Holy smokes. The Menor, constructed in 1593. Wow. All right, we have the servants hall, kitchen, pantry, lower floor, painting room, main hall, vestibule, flower room, dining room, drawing room, ground floor. Bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, library, first floor. Attic, bell tower, library, second floor. Meadow, Orch or Meadow Orchids, research team, 1862. Ann Jones, Robert Brown, Arabella Green, Professor John Montague. Sweet. 
Society for Botanical Research, August 1861. Dear Miss Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work, you might assist Professor Montague in his work on British meadow orchids. I'm sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Might I also recommend John Lindley's Ladies Botany, an elementary book for unscientific readers, and one I have heard as a suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself, being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants. If these men, if these 1800s men don't stop. Please. Flower painting in watercolor. Lady Arabella. Oh, oh, the scale. I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient, and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, that'd be lovely. In your service, Mrs. Patterson. Okay. Can you tell me how to work it? Symbology. A study wherein... The discerning reader will find a history of the use of religious and folkloric symbols throughout the art of the world. Published by Edwards & Co. Publishing Supply Company, Museum Street, London. Okay, religious symbols. Triskelion Neolithic. Taijitu Taoism. Star and Crescent Islam. Wheel of Dharma Buddhism. Star of David Judaism. Agnes Day, Catholicism, Ik Onkar, Sikhism, Om Hinduism. Oh, so the the sign in the by this that by that scale is the Agnes Day, which is the symbol of Catholicism. Okay must be a hint to how it works I guess I would assume <gasps> Kyla hello hi Kyla welcome in Raiders I hope stream was so good Kyla hello hello I appreciate you so much for bringing your friends over you're so kind thank you so much for the raid Oh shit. I, f I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. There we go. Everyone, please follow the lovely Kyla. Kyla is so sweet. Um, She's been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately. Um, Demon Souls today. I hope you had the best time. Hi, Ava Breaks the Fourth Wall. Welcome in. Welcome in, fellow Envy. Welcome in. Welcome in. Elden Ring at <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Welcome in, Jack. Demon Souls kicked your ass today? No, you rage quit. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, no. I'm sorry that it was such a not good time today. I hope you had a good stream anyway, even though you rage quit. You know, that is so understandable. Those games look so hard. <laughs> Espresso, hi, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your daily fish. Thank you for daily taxes. I got a key for this game, Botany Banner. It's so good. It's so much fun. Um, it's really, really chill. <laughs> I feel like it'd be perfect for you after you've uh, been ragey in the harder games. It is a very relaxed like game about plants and you get to um like figure out how to make these plants grow and learn about them and stuff and it's really like relaxed and low-key and very fun and the art is really really nice <gasps> pronouns party thank you for redeeming the pronouns party if you would like to and you feel comfortable sharing your pronouns in chat feel please feel free to uh, my pronouns are they them and they are always in the on the screen right there You played the demo? Oh, Jack, I also played the demo, and let me tell you, the full game so far has been just as lovely as the demo was. We've been having a great time. 
wanted to see what it did. Yeah, it um, it's just a little you know pronoun party, so everybody can drop pronouns if you, you would like. I'm a humble she they. Thank you for letting us know your pronouns. He they for River. They she for Reina. They her hers for but they them or any are okay for Freso. She her fay for Soju. Thank you all for sharing your pronouns. Thank you, thank you. We always want to make sure everyone's being referred to properly. Um, also, Kyla and anyone else who needs a break, please feel free to raid and run. Especially Kyla, streaming can be so draining, um, and it's definitely important to decompress and take care of yourself post-stream. So be sure to hydrate, eat, rest, anything you might need to do to take care of yourself. And that goes for all of you lovely Kyla viewers as well. But if you're new here, welcome in. My name is Cafe. My pronouns are they, them. I am a non-binary, queer, autistic, disabled variety streamer. I play a lot of comfy, cozy games and offer a um, more low energy, like lurk friendly, parallel play, body doubling friendly space. Um, we play a lot of Final Fantasy XIV and also like Stardew Valley, things like Botany Manor. Anything that's like comfy cozy. Sometimes we play um, some Fortnite, Lethal Company, anything like that. So yeah, welcome in, welcome in. Feel free to lurk, vibe at your own pace. No pressure at all to exist or anything like that. Like in a very like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I can't think of the word I'm looking for. I also have ADHD in case you're wondering. I'm an audit person ADHD and sometimes I forget what words I'm thinking of <laughs> I was gonna raid and run since this is the second raid in a raid train oh you've been in a raid chain let's go we love a good raid train this is too cozy oh yay I'm glad you feel cozy yes I am autistic and I have pretty bad ADHD. <laughs> um, some days it's better than others, but, you know, I tend to get distracted and uh, unable to focus pretty often. Oh, you started the raid chain. You raided Kyla and then Kyla raided me. Oh, well, I hope you had a great stream also. And is Ava okay for your uh, nickname name that you'd prefer? Please let me know. I'm currently trying to find a way to the bottom floor down here. Because the stairs are broken. Oh, oh, the scales. Okay. So I have to figure out the scales in order to get down there. Because that's the symbol next to the scales. So I need to open. I need to figure out what this is so that I can open it. Ava sign, most people call me it in real life too. Funny how that works. Oh, I see, I see. Yes, everyone calls me cafe as well. Here, I'm gonna put Ava and then she, they in your notes so I remember. And also Meg, thank you for sharing your pronouns as well. She, her for Meg. Is this pronoun party a BYOB deal? It basically is. Yeah, bring your own pronouns. BYOP. Bring your own pronouns. Just updating nicknames and pronouns on my OBS real quick here for people that I didn't already have it in for. Might start pulling a Bruce Willis and go, <laughs> go by your middle name. I love that for you. Okay. Is there like a clue? I don't know. 69. 
It's not 69. That's pretty rude. Is there a clue for this? With some numbers anywhere? We have any numbers on any of these things? Need subtitles? Yes, I have subtitles. I do, I do. Hard of hearing and struggle with auditory processing. Same here. I have a really bad auditory processing issues. Um, so subtitles are a must for me as well. Movies and shows are so bad. I wish they could balance the audio with the amount of money they put. I, that's what I'm saying. <gasps> Oh my god, Soju. Literally, that's my biggest complaint. Anytime partner and I are watching something, um, I am always complaining about the fact that they don't know how to freaking balance audio. Or, like, lighting. I hate that so many shows are so dark in the lighting. Like, the department. Please. This is so inaccessible. I don't care about it being edgy. Unless I'm looking at someone directly, my ass ain't here in the <laughs> Relatable, relatable. But then I run into the problem that I hate eye contact. So it's like a double-edged sword. Maybe give some of that money to their light department so you can't see anything. That's what I'm saying, River. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Quite literally, it's so... I can't... I can't even stand it. It's ridiculous. Okay... There are no numbers on this. The grounds are like colored in for half of it in the picture now. A wolf glove, that's the next one I'm growing. I'm certain since it's in the orangery, the orangery. Like, surely there has to be a clue for this balancing thing, right? So I'm going to spend forever sitting here, like, figuring out what numbers it is. Alright, I'm gonna take a break, actually, and then when we come back, I will figure out this scale puzzle here. Yeah, because nowhere in here are there clues. Alright, I'm gonna sit in this little chair over here. Thank you. 
and I'm going to run our ads and take a little break. Um, everybody, please take a break if you need one as well. Grab something to eat, um, drink, stretch, med and vitamin check if you need a reminder. Bathroom check, all those things. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. I appreciate you very much. Make sure to do some self-care.
Welcome back, everyone. gonna shit talk my birds <laughs> oh no river what <laughs> oh my. i sucked an air wrong i'm so sorry excuse me why are they acting like a 2000s lebanese drama audacity and bb are fully smooshing above cali who is just eating completely oblivious the other day bb climbed the cage just to get to audacity to have a smooch while cali was next to her this led to a five minute screaming and chasing between BB and Kelly. Oh no. Oh my god, they're in a drama. The bigger cage has been bumped up on the priority list because it's silly chasing now, but don't want to turn into fighting over territory. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> that's so funny though. Congrats on your soda can. Listen, I was actually gonna make tuna salad while I was on break, but we don't have relish and I didn't realize we were out of relish. So now I have to tell partner to get me relish so I can make tuna salad for sandwiches. You made your tuna sandwich, let's go. No, we have no pimples. I need my relish pimples. Audacity's just vibing getting smooches from everyone. Audacity is a player, we love to see it. Congrats on your shellfish and thank you for lurking. I appreciate you. <laughs> I texted I texted partner to say I was gonna make us some tuna salad for sandwiches but we're out of wellish and they said do you want me to buy some is that what you're hinting at <laughs> I mean if you want tuna sandwiches yeah what you're hinting at <laughs> oh yeah for them brats and boigas for the summer we did just buy brats and uh hamburger when we were at the store last time so they're in the freezer so definitely yeah Also prefer the girthier dogs. <laughs> 
Yeah, me too, me too. Okay. So this has to be some like number clue because it's not about balancing it. It's about getting whatever the clue is to open the thing. So what numbers? I'm gonna go look, let's look for important numbers. That's my guess anyway. Mm, okay, 1835. We'll try the year that Arabella was born. I feel like it's probably not that, but where'd my one go? One, eight. Okay, it's not that. Wait, do we know? Because it said the only ones that know about the priest hole, because I'm assuming this is about the priest hole. Because, you know, that would make sense. Um, so the only ones that knew were the owners at the time that it was built and then the person who made it. So when was our house built? We have that information somewhere. Was it in here? Oh yeah, 1593. Okay, let's try 1593. Okay, so one, five, nine, three. Oh, let's go. My brain. Hell yeah. Ooh, cool. Ooh, creepy. Another duck. Tufted duck. Ooh, a letter from the priest. My Lord Grain, thou hast ventured mightily. Oh, wait, let me read this as Orange would. I can't do the. I can't do a good um, English accent, but I'll try to speak like Orange. Thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls, and for such favor I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of little John in his establishment of the sanctuary doth inspire awe. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray extend my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided. A welcome respite from Brother Michael's oft-repeated fare of leeks and potatoes. With the most earnest of thanks, I entreat that this missive shall not mark our final communion and that our faith may endure unbroken. Yours with devotion are blunt. <laughs> that was awful, but you're welcome. My seed. Wolf glove. Small flower has long tubular petals. How interesting. Hi, Harls. Thank you for the quiet hello. I hope you're doing well. Make sure you stay hydrated and take care of yourself. <laughs> Yay, partner's gonna buy relish. Let's go. Relish. Ooh, Mont Blanc. Mount Vin Vinto? 
Souvenir Alpine, Ben Nevis, Fort William, Scotland, oh, Scotland, Iger, Grindelwald, Lotterbrunnen, it's probably Grindelwald, the Crystal Palace for the Great Exhibition in London of 1851. Steer Sun and Co. 58 to 61, St. Paul's, London. Interesting. All right, field trip journal. 30th of July, 1862. Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I joined Professor John Montague, his wife Anne Montague, and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British meadow orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. 3rd of August, 1862. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern March orchid. Though upon arrival, I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. When I pointed this out, Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Interesting. Oh, I can repair the stairs! Look at me, I'm a carpenter too, let's go. It's a bit of a fixer-upper, but I can fix and up it, you know? Lady Mountaineers Club, first outing, 1858. Nice, you love to see it. Oh, the Eiffel Tower. Souvenir de Mont Ascension. Tower Eiffel Paris. Matterhorn, first summit, 1865. Edward Wimper. Weisshorn, Switzerland. Gran Paradiso, Italia, 1885. Innsbruck, Austrich. All correspondence to above address. The, Soci the Society for Botanical Science meets every second and fourth Wednesday from six o'clock at the assembly rooms in Stroud. A prospective applicant must be supported by three existing fellows of the society, along with evidence or research showing his dedication to the advancement of the science of botany. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership to attend annual social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of laboratory investigation. Interesting. <gasps> Sit. Cool. Oh, I forgot that my music was still on. My bad. I mean, it fits the vibes because it's lo-fi, but I like the game's little music, so wanted to keep it. All right, let's get our soil, our wolf glove, water. All right, now we can learn wolf glove things. Okay, so wind speed and pressure, wolf glove. Where is the wolf glove found? The Alps. Okay, so those are all our clues. Nice. Did I sit in this chair? I'm gonna sit again. I need to sit in every single spot that you can sit. I just feel like it's gonna be an achievement. I feel it in my jellies. If it's not, I'm gonna be sad. Okay. Wind research, alpine weather. Nursery rhyme. 
and go back and read the nursery rhyme if that has something to do with it. All right, the wolf glove. Okay, high on the mountain top says, Steve grows a flower that's hard to keep. Petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try. Find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit to the glow. With every step they hear it loud, the wolf's glove how howl clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Yeah, the flower gonna howl. I guess I can just like take it up the tower until the wind is the right wind. Cause I don't know if it told me like exactly what windage I should be using, but I can just take it. And see which one it is. Oh. Let's go. I feel like it's gonna be the really fast one probably. Yeah, keep going. I might need to close the other windows, actually. Alright. Do this the, uh... The hard slash easy way. <laughs> We're gonna close them all. Shit, not go up. I meant to go down. Close them all and try them one at a time. on the first floor. Might also need like a combination of windows open, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna try just individual ones to start. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to have a combination because it seems like they're not going fast unless there's multiples open. I guess my one qualm with this game is that I can't look at the clues unless I like go back to them physically. I wish I could look at them like from here or at least like I haven't seen how to do that. So I'm assuming there's not a way to. I'm gonna go back down and read that book about the the speeds. Okay. Oh, 
okay, okay, okay. So the wind speed, you do have to have like certain ones open and like certain sides open too. Okay. Wasn't expecting this to be such a puzzle game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they marketed it as, like, a puzzle game, I'm pretty sure, so. It was very puzzle heavy. Which I like. I really like puzzle games because I feel like it keeps my brain working. Okay, which... Alpine Alps. Which one is... <laughs> which one? Which Alps do they go to? Hmm. It just says... They were looking for the British Meadow Orchids. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What year does it say? 1862. Okay. Whichever one of these says 62 on it. Okay, none of them have years on it. Just kidding. 51. Sixty-five. Eighty-five. Damn. Fifty-eight. <laughs> Sixty-two. Al souvenir Alpine, maybe Vento? Fifty. Okay. You know what? I'll just. You know what? We'll just try them all. I'm gonna try fifty first. I guess it's my first guess. So I need five, three, two, fully open, and one just one side open. Is not fifty. <laughs> Back to the drawer and board. Okay, four, three and four, three the right side, four the left side.
Nope. Oh, I meant to go down. Shit. Forty-five. Okay. Facing. So right, right, both, left. Right? Does that mean right, right, left? Because if we're looking at it. Right, right, both left. Nothing on one. Right, right, both left. Nope. God damn it. Keep hitting the wrong side. Wish I could request that iron pills aren't freaking giant. Oh my god, I know. Like, why are they so huge? Is that the right side even? I gotta make sure that I'm doing it right. Yeah, it was. Okay, it was right. Okay, so... Right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Right, left, right, left, right. giant over iron pills over iron ampullate oh oh no Okay, so right on one, one right, three, four, both, both. Okay. 
right none both both none 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 right i i keep hitting the wrong side i hate it it's fine it's fine all right None. A little glass that you break to drink the liquid inside? Oh, I don't like liquid stuff. Hold on, let me close this. I'm gonna go down. The liquid is disgusting, I don't doubt it. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, finally. We did it! It's like kind of whistling. Cool. It's making music. The wolf cloak grows in Mount Weisshorn, where the weather is just right. When the wind hits its tubular petals, a howling sound can be heard. Mountaineers are familiar with this flower and use it to navigate on foggy days. Cool. It's pretty. Drink liquid charcoal before? Oof. No, thank you. Gatehouse delivery. Must add my plant to the rest of my plants. Wow, look at all the pretty plants we've grown. All right. Delivery. Hop Good Household, September 1890. Dear sister, I am so glad to hear you have returned safely from your travels. While you were away, I changed the code for the library door lock each time I visited. As I know, some of grandmother's valuable items are kept there. The new three-letter code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy for you to remember. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Library code... Let's go. We get to go to the library. I'm so excited. I love libraries. <gasps> Hi, Allo. I hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Hello, hello. Uh, Elizabeth E A G. E A G. E A G. Huh? Was it not Elizabeth? E A G. Oh, I wonder if it's E A H. Because the married names. Yeah, okay. Library. Very iron, yeah. Description of liquid taste blood might make you gag. Ooh. Waiting for a thumbs up if it's okay to send a message based on CW. Don't want to accidentally hurt anyone. I think, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Wherever, I think. If it's too, like, if it makes anybody uncomfortable, I'll just delete it. Thank you. 
Doing well. I'm glad you're doing well. Very glad to hear it. Thank you for your daily fish. <sighs> what are the two things you think of when you hear iron? If you said rust and blood, then you know exactly what an iron ampoule tastes like. Ooh, ew. You're just oily and orange. Ugh. Oh, that sounds awful. Slightly orange flavored. Ew. Can't be here and not redeem fishy. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you for the fish. Thank you, dear Lady Green. Thank you kindly for the flower books you sent for my daughters. To this day, they still show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. I am keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind me putting it upon you that you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication and knowledge seems so rare and inaccessible everywhere or elsewhere for young girls like mine. I hope you will consider my proposal. Sincerest regards, Olive Campbell. Aww. She wants, um, Anna, fuck, what's her fucking name? Arabelle to, Arabella to, uh, teach her kids botany because men suck. <laughs> Hi, baby. Give all my well wish. What? Why are you so hurt? I don't know. From last night when you said supper? Ah, uh, it's you. I thought it was mom's face. Smells like cheese. Smells like all beans. Jalapenos. I was gonna type something. CW is not for public stream chat. Oh no, Soji, what is it? Oh. I thought they were thirteen dollars. They're not. They're seven. And now Whoa. I feel bad that I didn't buy two. <gasps> Whoa. Another dry erase board for our ADHD. So we know things are in the fridge and don't go bad. I got a mystery little mini plant. What are you doing, kitty? Thank you for getting my relish. <laughs> are you a stinky kitty? Nah, she said, I missed my papa. Please pay attention to me, papa. Look at my plant. Tiny plant. Oh, oh shit, there's many things in here. Oh, it's in a little thing. Oh, they're little, they're little orange flowers. The little. Uh-uh. It's fine. It's a bouquet. You put it in the- oh. Why oh, you put it in the vase? Oh, is this a vase? Yeah. Oh. There's a vase. Never mind then. You're right. Tell me how to do my thing. Pimple! Yeah, I got my relish. Oh, it's cute. It's pink. It's orange. It's pink on the bottom and orange on top. But... Oh, I know my flowers. Which one? Mini verse. Oh god damn. Which one is there's so many steps? Oh, look at them. I got birds of paradise. <gasps> oh, they've got a bird feeder. Wait, these are cute. I want that. Yeah, the hanging pothos. Yeah. Oh, the orchid. I want the monstera. Peonies, poppies, birds of paradise, baby's breath, trio. Cardinal birdhouse, chickadee bird feeder, orchid hummingbird feeder, hanging pothos, polea pear, fiddle leaf fig, monstera. I got the birds of paradise. They're little orange green things. There's a little bottle of water. It has actual liquid in it. Wait, <laughs> really? These aren't real.
You put it in real water? I certainly hope not. Read me first. <laughs> Read me first. Okay, arrange your home decor by using the materials and step by step instruction card from your pack. Once you save your home decor prepped, place it under daylight or UV light with a tray. Set the resin for at least five minutes or until resin has hardened. Oh, it's resin. Oh. That Only check if resin is hardened with the tweezers provided. Bring the home decor back indoors to cool down before touching. Oh, so you put out. Whoa. Cool. So you actually, you know, put resin in it and let the resin cool from outside. That's cool. Neat. Have to take it outside later. Maybe. Yeah. Cool. She's funny. Moxie, come here. Moxie. Did imparting bring to relish? Yes, I got my relish. It's out in the kitchen. Moxie's outside though now. Oh shit. Okay, I had to go pet a cat. Hold on. I'll be back. Um, I'm gonna run ads actually while I do that. I'm gonna sit in this chair. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna go pet a cat. Everybody do self care.
Hello. Hello, hello. Oh my god. You caught a zero. Wait, what? What's a zero? What was the zero thing? Was it a bit? No, it wasn't big. Zero. It was a purple thing and it was dancing. Oh shit. Wait, zero. Where was it? Oh, it was legendary. Okay. Oh, oh my God. What the heck is that? It looks cute. That's cool. Interesting. Botanical allies. Four new plants added. Locked study. Four new plants. Oh, some symbols. Oh, the stained glass is so pretty. Okay, I definitely can't stay and do all four flowers, but hell yeah. I think we have we have two chapters left. Also, there's chapter four and then chapter five. So we've got a nightfall, sapphire gloom. Oh, shrooms. Cradle fern, brook chalice. And then climbing up. Stained glass is so nice in the funky shaped glass that you can't fully see through. I love that stuff. People don't build with it much anymore. I know. It's so pretty though. Also, I set up Saki's little new water thing on break and uh she sniffed it and then she was like what the hell is this and backed away and she did not try it yet <laughs> the water is softly trickling and she said oh oh just the plants cute this library must have like a lot of secrets or something because Looking kind of small. She's smart enough. Yeah. No, I'm sure. I'm sure she'll like it. I left her regular. Uh, what? Where she had her water dish before. I left it there. Uh, you know that way she can drink from whichever one until she gets used to the new one. Sit. Ready.
cold water dish right next to it and then show them with little splashies that it was water. Oh, they got it pretty fast and switched within a week. <gasps> nice. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. She's a smart cookie. The fox and the crow. One evening, a fox was in search of something to eat for dinner. He saw the crow sitting on a tree branch holding a big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to the crow, complimented her shiny black feathers. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed on the cheese. The fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all birds with a big, strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak must make. It must be the song of a queen. Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it. Flattered by the praise, the crow forgot all her about her suspicion, also her dinner, so she opened her beak wide to utter her loudest call, and down fell the cheese straight into the fox's open mouth. <laughs> the fox said, that's my cheese now. Ooh. Oh. Secret door. Secret tunnel. A fish. All right, so we have a moon and stars, a fish, a sun, a burb, and a rabbit. And this was the fox and the crow. So the burb for the crow, I'm assuming. Wonders of the night sky. Okay, so the moon and stars. You got Toby a water fountain and he knew it was water. He just hated it all. <laughs> Sweet baby. He said, hell no. Who do you think I am? All right, we go upstairs. I hope it's the fish. Never touched it except to knock it over. Oh my God. It's the bunny, the hare and the tortoise. At midday, a hare and a tortoise took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the tortoise struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged the tortoise to a race. The tortoise accepted. A course was decided and the race began. The hare immediately leapt out of sight, but then laid down to take a nap, sure that the tortoise would never catch up. The tortoise plodded slowly on, making his way towards the finish line. When the hare awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes just in time to see the tortoise crawling slowly across the finish line. The proud hare had been so sure that he would win and underestimated the tortoise. Tortoise. As the tortoise crossed the finish line, he exclaimed, slow and steady wins the race. Dang, you got fucked up. The rising sun. Oh, wait, is it the order I need? It's the order I need to press them in, isn't it? Because this over here is a fish. The gold, the golden fish. One bright morning, a poor fisherman caught a shining golden fish. The fish cried, please let me live. I'm not a fish, but a prince enchanted by a wicked spell. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded that the fish grant a wish. <laughs> oh my God, so many. And return for its freedom, a cottage instead of a hovel where they lived. So the fisherman returned to the shore and the fish granted their wish. But the wife was greedy and demanded the riches, a palace, and servants. All the while, the ocean became darker and the shore was black with dirt. Finally, the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes for herself. In return for this greedy request, the fish revoked all of the wishes it had granted. After that, the ocean became blue again, the shore clean, and the fisherman never saw the golden fish ever again. Dang. New Year's Ball? Your company is respectfully solicited at a New Year's Ball to be given at Somerset Hall. Thursday, 4th, January, 1860. Supper is at 6 o'clock. Good music in attendance. E. Grimes, proprietor. Scribbled on the back. Cousin, wash your hands and accompany me. You won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. Oh, I don't need a husband, bitch. Who do you think you are? Okay, so what order... All right, so the first one I found was the crow. And then the second one was the stars and the moon. 
Wait, did I sit in these chairs? I gotta sit in all the seats. Yeah, she's got a whole mansion, but no, gotta find a husband. Leave her alone for her with her plants. Please. Okay. So then, are we supposed to go fish? Bunny. Sun? Fish, bunny, sun. We try it. Fish, bunny, sun. Not it, okay. Uh, crow, moon and stars. Opposite would be sun, bunny, fish. Damn. Okay, maybe the hair is not actually first. I'm confused as to the order these want. Do they have numbers on them? Thank you for hanging out, Ava. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your time zone. Oh, one evening. Okay, okay, okay. One. There are three stars, so maybe the stars are three. Okay, so. The crow's definitely one. So maybe the stars is three, because it has a three. This also says one bright morning, though. Fish granted a wish. One wish, two, three, four wishes, five wishes. I don't know, maybe five for the fish. Midday. Uh, there seems to really not be any like rhyme or reason for these, so that's cool. Okay, five, let's see. Five. Okay, so one. Five, maybe two. Three. Four, five. What the fuck? Is there 
anything else here? Oh, she's going to sniff it again. Got new fancy water. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Mm, okay, let's see this candle. These two candles look about the same height. I was thinking maybe it was like candle height, but I don't know. I mean, this one's pretty tall. But these two look the same height, so I don't know if that really matters. That one's the same height. That's just got the dual. Hmm. Let's see. One. One. What if it's one, like the distance? So one, two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, bunny. Two bunny, three fish. Wait, these are like equal to actually equal level. One, two bunny, three fish, four sun, five moon. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know. Maybe it's this way. Maybe we do sun first. Go backwards. Sun. Fish. Moon. Oh, wait, no, this is moon. Never mind. Did I press sun? Moon. Sun. Fish. Hmm. So they're all like Aesop's fables, I'm guessing. At least the three that were open are. Is there like a list of Aesop's fables in order? Oh, well, congrats on your catches. Oh, so do fish fished. All right, hold on.
It's no longer Ramadan, it's midnight. Oh, River Happy Eid. Conflicted that it seems conflicting. <laughs> Willum catfish. Oh, wait, shit. That was reverse. Scroll up. Bubbling griller. Oh, my God. <laughs> My mouth was moving to that. That's so funny. I'm like a main character that got nerfed. Oh no, River. Football fit. Oh wait, no. Uh, violent sentry. You got nerfed. Football fish. Very caught a football fish. Congrats on your catches. Well, oops. Well, catfish. I'm a piranha fay in the Amazon. Giant stingray. And crimson fish. All right, congrats on your catches. I'm caught up. <sighs> Maybe after a haircut today. I'm trying to go as limited as possible, but I don't know anyone who can cut hair and I don't know how. Oh, so really sorry. You get a sushi. Ooh, yes, get yourself a slushy. That sounds so good. Ridiculous, but kind of funny. Technically, everything demonic and supernatural gets locked up during Ramadan, and now I have to sprint from the bathroom to my bed again at night. Oh, no. I'm an adult that's scared of the dark, okay? It's common. It is, River. It's okay. I also, I also bolt from the bathroom to the bedroom in the middle of the night, too. Don't worry. Don't even worry, I understand. Biggest fear is stepping on a wet hair mob puddle. Ugh. Ew, yeah. I felt that for sure. I love the dark, but what's in there? Not anything that we want to know about. Okay. Rising sun. Is it the time of day? Rising sun, midday, bright morning. Wait, okay, rising sun would be the beginning. A bright morning, so fish. Sun, fish, midday, bunny. Sun, fish, bunny. Sun, fish, bunny, crow, night. Sun, fish, bunny, crow, night. Let's go! Ooh! Oh my god, dusty. <laughs> Grandmother's secret vault. 
Holy shit. Nice. Hi, Komu. I hope you're doing well. I'm hanging in there. I hope you're well. Do anything to keep spirits and ghosts at bay. I'm not well educated on religions and customs. True me either. There's gold in here. Oh, and color. Okay, a bunch of colors. Seed Nightfall. Lilium Hesperidus. Vaguely recall my grandmother studying the Nightfall when I was young. A key to the study! Nice. Red, blue, orange, purple. Wait. Sunset the 25th of June. Sunset the 12th of September. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Sunset 8th of August. Blue, purple, red, orange. These are beautiful. Sunset 1st of May. Red, orange, yellow, pink. Sunset 22nd of May. Blue, yellow, pink, orange. Sunset 8th of July. Blue, purple, pink, orange. Sunset 14th of October. Green, blue, pink, orange. Sunset 29th of April, purple, red, orange, yellow. Beautiful. The London Record and Weekly Journal of Literature, Science, and Art. Number 159, volume 7, for the week ending 9th May, 1829, prints one, price one penny. Lindley appointed chair of botany at University College London after an esteemed early career as assistant secretary to the Horticultural Society and admission of one of the youngest ever fellows of the Linnean Society, John Lindley, plans to elevate the science of botany. He spoke thus of his, in his inaugural lecture. It has been very much the fashion of late years in this country to undervalue the importance of the science and to consider it an amusement for ladies rather than an occupation for the serious thoughts of man. Oh, the misogyny again. Lindley also challenged the Linnean classification system and proposes many changes well fuck that guy mary green research notes 1830 to 31 i've been trying to encourage the nightfall bloom for a while now i'm determined to prove it's more than just a myth so far i have deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of year when exactly that occurs still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. Tasks for this month. Monitor nightfall seedlings. Rose planting list. Collect field sample seed collection. Okay, so we get to go to the study <gasps> pretty I like the green wallpaper oh my god eggs a kingfisher egg speckled sparrow egg shoveler duck egg quail egg Crested, ooh, this is pretty. Crested owl egg. That's beautiful. Golden mallard egg. Red billed morin egg. Shell duck egg. River swan egg. Blue heron egg. <laughs> so many eggies. Uh, tree diseases. Red pox, red tree pox. If a tree is infected with red tree pox. Oh, ooh, the tree downstairs. Okay. Uh, it's not the red though. It's different. Many re small red spots will be visible on the bark. It can usually be cured by adding fertilizer to the soil of the tree. Hypoxylon causes black patches to form on the bark of the tree. It is usually a sign that the tree is lacking in hydration and won't stay alive for much longer. Oh, this is the one it has. Root parasite. The root parasite is a fungus that forms purple rings on the bark and roots. The, parasites, the parasite leaches the nutrients that the tree receives from the, retrieves from the soil. Eventually, it causes the tree to dry out and lose all of its leaves. There is currently no known cure, of course. Uh, bark rust is a disease that isn't harmful to the tree. It is usually caused by excess hydration and too much sunlight. 
So no known cure. So we're figuring out the cure for this tree that's downstairs. <gasps> Sit. Beautiful. I love it here. There's a specific Quran verse. As for protection from spirits, it's a running joke that horror movies would be one minute long if there was a guy that knows that verse. I love that. For general bad vibes, blessings, etc. It's usually playing Quran out loud. For my sect specifically, you can have a protection necklace. It's called a hijab. No, not the scarf. Yes, I know it's confusing. <laughs> I had a glass one, but it broke. So I got a more common metal one. Aw. I love that. Word of the same word for a different thing, yeah. Oh, the oh yeah, the blue eye that scares off bad vibes. That is also a good thing to use, too. Arabella, I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. One I recall was a favorite of your father's. If you have any troubles when you visit the college, tell the secretary you are collecting materials for your uncle. So long as they are returned before the summer ends, the other professors won't notice. Best of luck with your research, Uncle Theodore mushroom food i love mushrooms just like plants fungi need food sources to grow strong and healthy however some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil and have evolved to retrieve it in different ways this means that they have become carnivorous because they only acquire nutrients they need by consuming living living organisms such as flies bugs and plants some mushrooms even get their nutrients from feeding on another type of fungus or parasite Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they are cons they are consuming the tree, so you should remove them immediately. Not always the case. Interesting. This is another seed. But I should do the seed I already have. Meadow Orchids of Britain. Collected in research by Professor J. Montague, assisted by R. Brown. My dear friend, January 1890, I've been pondering these last weeks what could be the best way to see a remarkable flora reach the wider world, since it is so seldom we are able to see our work published. Considering your uncle's reputation in the scientific field, have you considered asking him to publish your herbarium under his name? It may not give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it would do a way, be a way to reach your goal of adding to the scientific record on botany. Do consider it. I would hate for such important research to stay hidden away. With war warmest regards, Anne. No. She should be able to publish it herself. Fuck men. Modern methods of teaching. Usually gift it when a baby is born. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Oh, that's true. I did know that the Japanese throw beans outside to keep ogres away. Pregnant women to protect the baby from all the attention and jealousy because that would be bad juju. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so this plant I'm trying to get right now is Nightfall. And I have like n only two hints on it really. Oh, no, I have more now. Tree diseases. I feel like the mushroom book is for the mushroom, though. I don't know why I'm using that one, actually. The bird eggs, too. You're Dominican, you have a lot of superstitions. Okay. Where's my... My pots? Nightfall.
feel like I'm... Maybe I am supposed to do the mushroom first. I don't know. I mean, I got to this one first. Oh my god, excuse me. Another thing, but this is cultural, not religious as far as I know. I think it's a valley thing. Where I'm from, we collect the first rainwater of winter. Obviously clean it and have a little sip. I remember running in heavy rain as a child to put a bucket outside. Oh, they're so sweet. Like a popular one is that you sweep an unmarried person's feet and they won't get married. That's strange. There's some like like um superstition superstitions in like you know every culture that I'm like I wonder how you even got there. <laughs> okay. not even not superstitious you even purposefully broke some just to see that's you know understandable where should i be putting this nightfall if it's a nightfall i assume it needs dark but it could be wrong i don't know Hmm. Oh, I can't go through this way. I have to go through the kitchen. Lady's getting a workout in this mansion. I know. She's definitely got her steps in, that's for sure. Duck. Whoa. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that, but that's fine. Oh, I feel like yeah, I should I feel like I should be doing the um mushroom first. It only has two clues. Okay, so tree diseases and mushroom book. I'm gonna go do the mushroom first then. I'm 
someone else was taught that when you enter a place, even if it's empty, you say a greeting to me. <laughs> to who? Me at six. To whoever's there that you can't see. <laughs> Ooh, what a way to scare the shit out of a kid. Alright, judging by the name, I don't believe this is to be an edible mushroom. Alright, sapphire gloom. Yeah, I mean, you know, your mom's right. You should say hi because you never know what's what or who is there. Shrooms! I love them, they're so cute. Nice, okay, so they were super easy because they were for the tree. <gasps> Look at it! We're healing the tree with shrooms! Oh wow. Oh my god, it really did go wild. <gasps> Yay! So pretty! The sapphire gloom is a wildly misunderstood mushroom. It grows commonly on trees, and as opposed to popular belief, the mushroom consumes its parasites rather than the tree itself. Cool shroom tree! Heck yeah, that's so cool. Alright, now I can grab this one. And we can go through this door, because the tree stopped blocking it. More places to sit. The only thing I wouldn't do is answer back is something- Oh, the Appalachian Mountains? Oh god. There's definitely shit up there. You don't answer what you hear in the trees. You keep your eyes forward and walk. <laughs> True. Don't look in the- in- in um- in the forest at night, cause you'll just- You'll see shit. Your eyes just start to trick you the longer you look in the dark. If they fit, cat face tits. That's so true. If I fit, I sits. Just like a cat. Sitting. Oh, hey, look. Another spot for growing stuff. Can I sit down here? I can. 10th of August. Dearest Arabella, I was taking a walk along the river, a river in Somerset recently and noticed a, a site that I just had to write you about. In the water, I saw a brook chalice blooming. I've never seen or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what would have caused this? Ever your friend, Edith. Sit. Ooh, an attic. No key for the attic. <gasps> the trapped fairy. Oh, this is cute painting. The trapped fairy. Where there go- <laughs> Well, there goes Soju, our beloved community member lost in the trees due to your face audacity to stare. True. Soju would be the one to wind up getting taken. Out of curiosity. In the forest. <laughs> this game is very beautiful, I agree. Aquatic- Clark Aquatic Weed Removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We are specialized in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan balsam, brook chalice duckweed. Make an appointment today. Clark & Co. Certified Weed Removal and Agricultural Services, Yavel. So she was our leash child is what I'm gathering. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> Cradle fern. For past years, these ferns have drastically declined on the banks. So I feel compelled to research any changes in their environment. Petition. Somerset Society for Wildlife Protection offers a petition to be presented to the Honorable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset Rivers. Tragically, we ha this has led to the decline and even extinction of some bird species. 
Lo no longer can we hear their beautiful chime-like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers in Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expense expended. No expense attend signing your signature. We signed it. Good. Apple. <gasps> the trapped fairy, a uh, folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of time, and the day turned to, into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punch the little fairy. She placed the fairy into a nightfall, oh, the flower that we don't know how to grow yet, and cast a spell on her. The little fairy fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. Later, when the sun came up, the spell broke. Just as the fairy woke up from her enchantment, the nightfall bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Okay, so... Oh, god damn it, I did it fucking again. Okay, so for the nightfall, the sunset paintings are definitely a clue. The grandma's research, and then this fairy painting, and the fairy tale fairy story okay those are all for sure clues for this one and then for the fern i feel like the weed removal petition letter about weeds and fern painting ah <gasps> My dear Nova, oh kitty cat, never forgotten, oh kitty cat. If outside in nature, yes, my partner is always on alert. Yeah, <laughs> I can't judge much. One, judge much. Once I ate random berries I found in the cemetery river, please. Last time I got too excited walking down to a little waterway stream, I nearly busted my ass. Oh yeah, Soju fucked up an ankle doing that shit. I am in love with the moon too. Me too. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. Did y'all know that? Purple on the outside, white on the inside. Ooh, um, you know? Yeah, it must have been edible. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> I also almost broke my leg climbing a tree, so I tried to climb it again and it almost busted my head. River, I'm gonna put y'all in time out y'all are too ambitious of trying to hurt yourselves in nature ghost berries wait did river really eat ghost berries dearest friend it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of lord spencer has gone unacknowledged while disappointing i'm not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places on my recent visit to brinsby the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and erudition was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own, and perhaps we can see these specimens in their natural home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Oh, just saying because cemetery and the berries grew from the dirt. True. Everything is made of dead people. That, you know... When you're right, you're right. Tincture of red clover. Chamomile red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. Essence of arnica flower. For sprains, strains, and joint pains. Damn, I need that. My ever-lasting joint pain. Hello, we're fixing a pipe in here? There's a pipe puzzle? Oh my god, it's just like fucking, uh, it's, this is Bioshock. This is a Bioshock puzzle, if ever I've seen one in my life. And I've seen a lot because I've played a lot of Bioshock. I flushed the toilet! Let's go! I love a game that lets me flush toilets!
I did it. Oh, we're putting in, we're putting one in the tub with water, apparently. I would hold the leash, but I have a horrible sense of direction. I will hold the leashes, don't worry. Thank you for dreamy streamy and thank you crew for sharing fun silly stories and neat superstitions. Bye Meg, thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good evening with Max and Nemi and get some good food and stuff. I appreciate you. Care you very much. A hot bath at the ta at the turn of a tap. The N30 bath geyser provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. Can be used multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Wow, that's so nice. Wilson Plumbers for all plumbing and water system needs. Lady Arabella Green. 15th of May, 1890. Installation of disconnected pipes. Total 14 shillings. Dear Arabella, here is our quote to fix the pipes of the geyser in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job. Best left to the professionals. Have a nice day. I fixed it in literally a minute. Get fucked. Respectfully. Okay. Um. So I need to plant the fern and put it in here because it grows in the water. Add clue. Bird eggs. Oh, the bath geyser? Okay, something is not right. Fern painting. Back Wait, was the fern painting of this fern? D actually, yes, you're right. Disrespectfully, since they want to be sexist. You're right. Cradle fern. Okay, fern painting. Glitched out. Or maybe I'm missing something in here. Petition. Read that. Read that. Read the fairy tale. Kitty cat picture. Oh, did I read this? Yes. I think the eggs is right, so maybe something else might be wrong. Yeah. I don't know yet. I feel like it's probably this weed removal or something. Why can't I click the letter about weeds? Bird, okay, so this is about the bird species. So, petition and the eggs, fern painting, hmm, thing thonking. Oh, wait, I forgot this room's open. A key to the attic. Nice. Somerset River Trust. Seasonal newsletter. April 1890. Somerset Shire. My brain hurt me too. <laughs> I just want to finish this chapter. Or at least, um, 
like this plant that I'm working on. River swimming this season. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer, so we've cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, the River Chu, and the River Salmer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Co. Thank you for your continued support. Thanks to your monthly donation, the River of Somerset are clean and weed-free. Health and Safety Warning, 8th of August, 1890. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been illegally dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Do not swim in the following rivers, River Cam, Somer, and Chew. Wow, imagine that. The River Fromm has also been infected by the waste, though oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching. It's the weeds that y'all fucking killed. I sit. Imagine the weeds doing their job. And you polluting the rivers with the weed killer. Montague Hall, June 1864. Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent meadow orchid research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. I look forward to future collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Warmest regards, Professor Montague. Thank you, Montague. Oh, rivers. Oh, here we go. Temperatures for the rivers. I bet that's one of these is wrong. The river poster. Okay, I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna clear. Hold on. Okay, the fern painting. Or maybe the fern painting doesn't matter. This river thing does matter, though, for sure. The river poster. The bath geyser. Those two for sure I know that they matter. So that's going to tell us what temperature I need to turn that bath on. The receipt in the rust, this clue. Um, I don't know actually. The river. <laughs> River, not the cry face. Um, I do have to run ads. I'm not gonna take a break. I'm just gonna run ads while I'm trying to figure out the clues. So thank you for bearing with the ads. My brain hurt. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll read that in a minute. Can I sit in this chair? No. Oh, there's letters up here. Music. Oh, we're gonna be bird calling. Oh, okay, I'll wait until y'all are back from ads.
All right, welcome back from ads, everyone. Okay, I think that the the bird eggs um, might actually be for the other, the nightfall, and not this one that we're working on. All right, letter about melodies. Dear Cerebella, I'm writing to share with you an exciting discovery I've made in my botanical studies. It turns out some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and will be delighted if you could join me in my research. Your sincere friend, Marianne. Okay, so I think that and the bird eggs are going to be for the other... Okay, where's my nightfall? Because I think my nightfall, I need to sing to my nightfall. It's my nightfall. We must sing it a song. I'll do that in a minute. I'm doing the other one. <clears throat> Hi, Eeyore. Thank you for the quiet hello. I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. Shit, where did I put... Oh, I didn't start growing this one yet. Cradle fern. Ah, <gasps> it's so curly cute. Okay, you get to go in the bathtub, my friend. Okay, so bath geyser. It's the bath geyser. What ended up being the burn clues? I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. One of these is wrong, but I don't know which one is. That or I'm missing a clue. Hmm. I think I'm missing something. That's not a clue. Okay, so the government notice. River Trust. The river poster. The petition for sure. God damn. The petition was for, um, to get them to stop using weed killer or something, right? Yeah, the protection of the wildlife. Oh, wait, no, this one's about birds. Okay, not the petition. Never mind. The petition. I did it again. I didn't read it all the way. Okay, so the petition is about the birds. So that goes with this one. Okay, so maybe... Why is it key? It glitches out sometimes. I don't understand why.
Hmm. Post your trust in government knows. Yeah. I think so. There, I don't know, though, because... I know that this, the poster, like the river's poster, is needed because this is how you figure out the temperature that you had to turn on the bath water. So the river poster is needed. Maybe I need to go into the attic. I got the attic key. What's in the attic? Oh, this is moths. Okay, this is gonna be a completely different. Huh. It's a little piggy. Okay, this is a completely different seed in here. Okay, we're not, I'm not coming up here. Completely different. Okay, so we've got this. So maybe it is the eggs. Maybe it is the eggs. Oh my god, I keep fucking doing that. Pissing myself off. Okay, so maybe... I know that the river poster has to be right. So maybe the eggs? The painting? Because it shows the eggs on the cradle fern. So like spotted owl eggs. So the eggs, the river poster, this painting, these two, I just can't figure out which fucking one's right. Okay, petition with everything else. I'm so confused. <gasps> Hydration break, everybody. Think Fonkin in my noggin. I think the most to be right, I just don't understand. Maybe I'm, maybe I really am missing something. It's the only thing I can like think of. Is I'm missing a clue.
Well, shit. Okay, well, maybe if... Okay, if the eggs... Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Okay, the eggs in the fern, I am 100% certain on. Oh, birds. Okay, this has to do with the eggs too. Okay, so birds. Bird call. So the fern must go up here and not in the bathtub. The bathtub must be something else. We're going. All right. Um, the, I don't remember which egg that was, so I need to go find the eggs again. Hold on. The eggs were in here. The, this one. The crested owl. Okay. Crested owl. Okay, crested out. Okay, so the bird eggs, fern painting, bird call. Um, the melodies should be. Oh, um, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my mind if I keep pressing Q. Okay, so melodies. melodies and then the petition oh finally oh my god okay <laughs> just need to sing to it now all right the spotted no crested owl ecd egf ecd egf ec wait ecd egf E C D E G F Yay! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> the whole time I thought it was a different plant, that's why. The cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest, and in turn the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime-like call to grow. Aw, that's so sweet. Take my fern with me, thank you. <laughs> Damn. Well, I mean, at least, you know, I feel better about it taking so long because we were working on the wrong one. So that's good to know. <laughs> I feel a lot better about it now. Alright, let me go do this attic one. These moths. Because the other one's going to be hard. The hardest one. I did it again. Ugh. Okay, yeah. Because this nightfall one is like the harder one. The brook chalice is going to be this one. The Flower Growing Companion, an illustrated monthly journal. Gardening, curiosities, trapped moths. Sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the morning. The moth is then forced to use the bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom short periods during the years, so if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later. Ooh. It's like the fairy, yeah. The moth and the fairy. Moth Spotted Calendar. Oh, okay, I can turn. There's none in March. Okay. Cool, okay, so we can move that around. 
Moths of England, hummingbird hawk moth, eyed hawk moth, antler moth, elephant hawk moth, moth, emperor moth, swallowtail moth, poplar hawk, scalloped oak, garden tiger, mint moth, small magpie moth, angle shades moth, private hawk moth, lime hawk moth, cinnabar moth, green carpet moth, argent and sable moth, six spot brunette. Okay, I go. Let me get the seed. Brook chalice. I know we've seen some of these in Animal Crossing. That's how I feel always, too. The Botanist Digest, a monthly journal of botanical news. Number 31, volume 4. February 1863, price one penny. This month, in conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids, in his words, Every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover some of those mysteries. Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking, groundbreaking work in the world of meadow orchids and other botanical wonders. With decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contributions to the field have been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of new species such as Dactylores uh, monocue Monoc or hood marsh, hood marsh orchid. I can't read. It's fine. <gasps> A mallard duck. March 1863, Green Bank Hall. My dear niece, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. Ugh. I've arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He's successful in business in London. Your cousins, William and Thomas, may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Ar but for you Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Fuck you. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son, but it would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I'm confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a, be a becoming dress. No. Fuck Arabella's whole fucking, like, family. And just everybody in general. They all suck. The side of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allow them to see the color of light. This means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time the flowers bloom is different for each flower, but most do appear to respond to light and the color of light in some way. Horticulturists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming at any time they like. Pig. I have a piggy. Inspect rusty pig. I gotta put him in the bathtub, I think. Wait. I'm gonna go put him in the bathtub. I think I'm gonna get the rust off of him by putting him in this bathtub with whatever plant goes in here. Here you go, sir. I just have a feeling. Because they were talking about rust in the water supply. Okay. Blue, green, pink, purple, orange, yellow, red. Project slides, magic lantern. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. The ch oh, this is the one that goes in the water. It's literally in water in this thing. So this one must be for, um... Oh, that must be for the nightfall one because the time of day. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm cooking in my brain, Brook Chalice. Water. You're going in the water. And then the other one is going in upstairs. I don't know where I put that plant, though. I think I put it upstairs. 
<laughs> Where did I put the nightfall? Oh yeah, right here. All right, the nightfall is going, which makes sense because moths, moths uh, do like nighttime, so that would make sense. So you're gonna go in there. Okay, so for the brook chalice, the clues are going to be the river ones that I thought were for the other thing. Yay! <laughs> Spent all that time looking for the wrong one. Okay, so the brook chalice... Did it say where the brook chalice grew? Because that'll depend, like, that'll be what the water temperature is. Which river it grew in. That's the wrong thing. I mean, I guess I can just check whatever temperature. It's only going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, or 25 C. So I'll just, <laughs> I'll just up the temperature to whichever one, because I don't want to go looking for what set it. All right, 5? Drain. <laughs> you just try all of them. Nope. Drain. Fifteen. Oh, I think this one. It's bubbling. Oh, no. That one's definitely wrong. It made a different sound, though. Twenty? All right, 25 it is. <laughs> Yay! It's glowing! Oh my god, it's so pretty. Wait, it's so pretty. Wow. Wow, so pretty. The brook chalice prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often as most people prefer their ponds to be weed free. Hello? My rusty pig? My rusty pig? I thought I was gonna clean the rusty pig. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take this downstairs with the rest of my plants. I'm gonna start to move these closer together because they're, I'm gonna run out of room. My plants. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, so for this one that I hate it here, it's fine. Okay, this one must be the all the rest of the clues should be for this one. Hell yeah. Okay, so it's a nightfall, so it must need nighttime color to grow, which I would assume would either be the blue or the purple. Oh, oops. Oh, okay, it has to go through four phases. Okay. It's like what, sunsetty colors maybe? Wait, it was just, it was her sunset color um, paintings, the grandmas. The sunset paint. Okay, hold on. I need to go back to where grandma's notes were. And also, what did this one say? Trapped moths. Oh, so many puzzles, my brain. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. I hope you're doing well today, Sheila. It's nice to see you. Yes, um, this game is so good, but my brain does hurt <laughs> a little bit because there's so many, like, puzzles and things that you have to figure out. But I've done... Hold on, I'll show you all my plants that I've done. I'm on chapter four of five, and I'm on the last plant of chapter four. I gr I've grown all of these plants. There are so many. <laughs> I have grown so many plant. You deep cleaned your fridge? Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. What the heck? That is, that is great news. Also, y'all, if you aren't following Sheila, um... First of all, why? Second of all, do that. <laughs> um, Sheila is such a lovely, wonderful creator. Does comfy, cozy co-working and gaming sometimes and has the most gentle voice and vibes you will ever see in your life. And also is a co-founder of the Gremlin Grove that I'm very lucky to be a part of. So please follow the Sheila. You're so excited to play this. I hope that you like it. It's so much fun. And it's like, um, it's very low energy. Like there's no rush to do anything at all. You can take your time doing everything. And the art style is very cute. I like it a lot. Okay, so it's gonna be depending on what month, but I don't know what, how am I supposed to figure out what month? God dang it. <gasps> I just wanna finish this one flower and then I will save chapter five for another day because my brain hurty. Okay. Trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom. Rose planting list. Collection. Okay. That doesn't give me any information. I guess I can just... <laughs> I guess I can just try each of these color combinations. I'm gonna do that. Um, where's my phone? Okay, I'm gonna make a note on my phone and check the color combinations. Because it'll be one of them. Okay. Uh, June, blue, purple, Orange, red. September.
blue, yellow, orange, red. August, blue, purple, red, orange. Someone asked for the date, cookie recipe, and Jinx's Discord, and wow, it sounds more complicated than it actually is. <laughs> I feel like once you're like used to making something, you don't realize like how complicated it might seem for somebody who's making it for the first time. Especially in baking, I feel like. April. Purple. Oh, shit. Purple. Red. Orange. Yellow. October. Green, blue, pink, orange. Hold on, let me write this up. Hi, Jazz. Hi, Jazz. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you so much for the raid. You're so kind. And hi, Steven. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh my, can I please? Be able to shout out. Thank you. Oh, please follow Jazz. Jazz is lovely. Another fellow um, disabled creator on the DC3 with me, the stream team. It has very lovely, lovely vibes. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream was so good. Please make sure that you do your post-stream self-care stuff, which is super, super important. Make sure that you rest, hydrate, eat, um, stretch, meds, vitamins, bathroom, anything you might need to do. But I hope you had a fun time. We are just finishing up um, one more plant on Botany Manor, which has been super, super fun. How's streaming the game going? It's good. This game is so cute. It's very cute, but it does hurt my brain a bit because it's very puzzle based. Um, you have to, you know, do a bunch of puzzles and riddles and stuff with hints and stuff. So it's very brain hurty, but it's good. It's really good. And um, it has a lot of really beautiful plants, obviously, and the art style is really cute. If you feel like uh, talking about what you did on stream today, feel free. I'd love to know like what you were playing, what you got up to. But if you have to write and run, absolutely don't feel bad at all. Um, I'm just writing down these sunset colors. Oh, this is also the May. Oh, shit. This, okay, first May. And then 22nd of May. Oh, there's another July also. I don't know, I guess that was only the only July. 22nd May. Blue, yellow, pink, orange. July. Blue, purple, pink, orange. Okay. October, April. August, September, June, July, beginning of May, end of May. Okay, I wrote down all those. <laughs> I'm gonna go back up to the attic. This is not the attic, that's the second floor of the library. This is the way to the attic. Okay, so this tells you what moths are seen in each month. Not sure if I need to like know or not. <gasps> Congrats on your cod. Literally add, add most dry ingredients mix, add fat mix, leave for an hour, add liquids and dry ingredients mix, leave for an hour, add filling, make shape, freeze, bake. It is, it's kind of a lot of uh, steps. Baking in general is usually like a ton of steps. It was Smile For Me, a mixed media horror game where you have to make people happy by solving puzzles and try not to die. Ooh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> but I'm glad it was super fun. Okay, blue, yellow, orange, red. Blue, yellow, 
Oh, wait, are we supposed to do- Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder if I need to do them all in order. If it's gonna be, like, super complicated. So I'm gonna try- We'll do it in month order. So the earliest is... The April one, which is purple. Oh, shoot. Purple. Red, orange. Yellow. Glad to hear Botany Manor is fun too. Get you with the puzzle, killing out the brain cells. Yes, mentally exhausted after puzzle games, but they're so fun. They are, they're so much fun, but it is definitely like, I have to recover from them, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so April, May. So the first of May is the red, orange, yellow, pink. And then the 22nd of May is blue, yellow, pink, orange. May, June, blue, purple, orange, red. July, blue, purple, pink, orange. August, blue, purple, red, orange. Oh shit. That was pink, not orange. I wonder if it fucked me up, I don't know. I don't know. August, September, blue, yellow, orange, red. But I have to do it all over again, I swear. <gasps> that was the one! Yay! Oh, it's beautiful! It's beautiful! Seeing the nightfall bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms with September sunsets. Night pollinators active in September, such as the garden tiger, often get trapped once the bud closes for the rest of the year. Wow. Imagine being stuck inside of a flower for a whole year. A gatehouse delivery! Holy smokes. I got a key! The formal garden. Nice. Lady Arabella, I want I apologize wholeheartedly for taking the key to the formal garden yesterday. It was in my pocket when I went home and I had simply forgotten it was there. I didn't want to disturb your research, so I've left the key in the basket here for you. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna unlock this gate and see how many flowers, like how many plants are in the last chapter.
do I unlock the formal garden? I don't know. Nope. I think it was always oh, it, it was up and then to the back of the house, I think. Don't remember. Brain. No memory. It's, oh my god, I'm stuck on the tree. Is it this way? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's that door over there. Alright, how many plants added? Climbing up. Three. Three plants. Oh, it's beautiful back here. Oh. Pond. I like this picnic. Picnic area is so cute. Okay. I'm gonna have to do the last, those last three plants. I think that's the end. Right? It said chapter. Just five chapters. Okay, this time I meant to go back here. Yeah, chapter five. I wonder if they're gonna add more. There is a lot of like room here. Okay, we've got three plants. What are our what are our plants? A spring dance shrub, pools emerald, and an ocelot. Hey, well, okay, we'll do those next time. My brain hurties. It's been six hours. I'm working my brain muscle. It's a lot of brain muscle time. That's quite a bit of brain muscle action. Whew. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out today. And thank you again to the lovely devs at Botany Manor for gifting us a key so that we could try out the game today. There is more info on the game if you would like to wishlist it or check it out on Steam. I'm going to find somebody for us to raid. Alright, let me see... I'm sure there's a million wonderful people on, as always. So give me a hot minute to look and check. How many achievements did we get today? We got 22 out of 36 achievements. There's five more regular and then nine hidden achievements. I'll probably try to, I'll, well, not, not probably. I will 100% the achievements on this game so next time we play it i'll uh we'll make sure to get all of the achievements for sure i'll look up what the hidden ones are if we if we don't find them on our own all right let's see whomst is online oh shoot i see somebody who's online Mabel went to go storm stram. We'll go raid Mabes. Um, let me get out of ads first and then we'll, we'll go over there. But yes, thank you all so much for hanging out today. Um, thank you to Jazz and Kyla again for the very kind raids. I appreciate you so very much. Um, thank you for all the follows, the resubs, the vibes as always. I appreciate you all tremendously. Um, I will be back on Thursday, and Thursday we're also playing a game that I was gifted a key for, this time for the Switch, um, and it's Moon Glow Bay, and it's like a little fishing game, which is, you know, definitely our vibe, it's our whole brand is fishing, uh, so I'm very excited to try out that game with y'all on Thursday. I will have more information about the devs and um, a command and stuff set up by Thursday when we do that. Um, 
but yeah i'll be off tomorrow so everybody have a good wednesday have a good rest of your time zone today oh thank you komu for dropping by i appreciate you i hope you're, you're doing well and taking care of yourself and thank you river and jazz and sheila and soju and mabes and eeyore and everybody that <laughs> popped by and all my wonderful mods if you don't already follow and support all my mods please be sure to they're all lovely and wonderful and deserve all of your love and attention and affection um and we're gonna go and raid the lovely mabel luna Mabes is doing some co-working today, it looks like, with that new Spirit Lo-Fi game, which looks super freaking cute. And Mabes uses they, she pronouns, I do believe. I'm going to check. She, they, yeah. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you very much have a good rest of your time zone um please take care of yourselves behind yourselves all the good things get some drink some food some you know other things <laughs> self-care things uh and i'll see y'all thursday or the next time that i see you okay goodbye i appreciate you all very much goodbye goodbye goodbye